Wow, that was truly, truly a, a powerful read there. Thank you, Girly, for sharing that, um, that with you. I hope you are able to survive this terrible, painful moment in your life. Kudos. <laughs> Hello, friends. How's everybody doing? Oh, my God. I just put Oragel on the back of my gum because, like, I got a... I got a cleaning today. My mic isn't off. It's not off. But, yeah. I got a cleaning. And I'm ouching. Oh, they had, um, they did the, um, the intensive gum cleaning that I, ha uh, I have scheduled every three months. Where they go, like, really in there. And I'm in a lot of pain. But we ball. We ball. Whoa, 10 months already almost a full year. Time is flying and I will continue to supporting and just gotta say I love this community. Carnage. Three. Carnage, thank you so much. That's so sweet of you. Happy 10 months. Welcome back to the coven. I hope your badger months and your stay. Root planning? Root planning? What's root planning? I had my friend at one, at like one volume to help with his, with his viewer count, but forgot about it. That's totally okay. I'm glad you can hear me now. Yeah, this is my uh, compadre for the next two minutes, Mr. Vlad. He helped me with my internet and all my goodies, so now we're just, uh, we're just chilling. But yeah, I have really bad gums. I have par parodontitis, par 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 whatever the fuck. And so cleaning them is never fun. It is terrible. <laughs> Super deep gum cleaning procedure. Had to have one with a, when I had an infected gum. Um, it's like, I mean, I guess like invasive cleaning, but that's what they call it. Thank you, Elise. I hope you enjoy school. Enjoy your school. Yeah, I'm okay now though. Like the Oragel is clicking in. I took an Advil as well. I'll be fine. Like how Vlad and I are just doing the same thing. I know. I, I was following you. <laughs> I I did a you. You're like you're like. <laughs> this is my I'm in pain feeling. Oh, what was I gonna say though? Oh, chat. We finally found an FC house to bid on. I'm so excited. We've got, I think, three bids right now. So if anyone in the FC wants to help out, let me know. I can guide you. All you need is to have the Imperium unlocked. It got to be a sugar day tonight. You did. Kelsey's daddy for the night. We love to see it. I put in a bid. Sarnix put in a bid. Um, who else put in a bid? It's Kenley put in a bid. Love it. We have 40 mil left, so we can do two more bids. So if anyone has Imperium and can and can bid. Yeah, Elise is going to put in a bid when she is able to unlock it. And so is a girly, I believe. But, like, no rush. Someone else can do it then. Hell yeah. Oh. <laughs> Already gave damn near all my money to help. Same. I have no money left. I put, I've got 1,300 gil right now. 13. I got enough to teleport. And that's it. Thankfully, though, we're doing MSQ. So hopefully I can gather some gil. And I did start leveling my crafting. So. Are we doing stuff like maps? No, not yet. Not yet. Bye. I have 500k left. From what? Left from what? Did you bid on something? Good luck. Godspeed. I'm very excited. Today we're going to be returning to the MSQ for a little bit. And we're also going to be wrapping up the Dragon... Dragon... The Dark Knight quest line. I think the level 80 quest is the final quest, maybe? I don't know. But it's not like a big thing. It's just a quest. It's just a side quest. Whom's his boy? This is my my bestie. This is Vlad. He's one of our Discord mods. And he's just been he's been keeping me company for the day. I'm trying to get to Imperium, but I'm at 10 minutes on this anti-tower duty wait. I believe in you. Godspeed. Live Vlad love. Yeah, live Hashtag Vlad, love. live Vlad love. Hashtag <laughs> Omega raid this year? What's the Omega raid? So, Jeff, how are you? How are you, Jeff? Do I look like a Jeff? 
You do now. It's one quest will tug on the heartstrings. I'm scared. Dentist! <laughs> Dentist! Dentist! Thank you so much for the 10 gifted subs. I super appreciate it. Oh, that gifted a sub. Welcome. I hate that you did that. I hate that you did that too. I'm going to pretend I, you didn't. I, I, <laughs> Welcome to the comment of your badge of and your stay. Story team rec recommended to do coils and omega raids in preparation for, uh, I almost said NW. N Walker. Yes, um, so I know I'm going to be doing coils. I didn't know I had to do the omega raid. Oh, is that part of the alpha quest stuff? Like with the chocobo? I don't know. I'll figure it out. I do also need to do the roll quests. So I think I'll do those after some MSQ thingies. Oh, recommend on Mandroid? Well, I'm still going to do coils anyways. Vlad is wearing a very Canadian sweater. Yeah, he's wearing um, his version of the Canadian uh, tuxedo. Instead of denim on denim, it's roots on roots. And it's literally the same fabric. Iconic. I am just... I am one with the fabric. Well, he's one <laughs> You said you like Alpha but skipped a story? I do not. Don't put words in my mouth. How dare you. You get some extra quests if you do all four roll quests? Fuck yeah. Alright, are my glasses dirty? A little bit. <laughs> Sir? <laughs> Sir? I'm glad. I'm glad my knee could do could do you service. I'm glad too. What a simp! Hey, look. If you're not simping for your friends, are you even friends? Danny, how you doing? It's nice to see you, Bean. I just got my hair caught on my mic. Just, All right. I just had a wall of hair in my mouth for a second. As you should. All right, chat. Are we ready? I'm ready. It was nice seeing you, Vlad. Been doing business with you. All right, guys, I'll see you guys in chat in, like, <laughs> 30 minutes or so. <laughs> Wait! Kelsey needs you. She yes, said, Kelsey. She said, what are you drinking? I'm drinking a, a beer. And it's not a Stella. Can you believe this? Fake. Fake. Imposter this is Vlad. Fake, this is Imposter Vlad. Imposter Vlad. Jeff, the glass is cleaner. Don't kill me. Are we crying today? Probably. There's probably gonna be some tears that are gonna be shed. Oh, where am I? Hello? Oh, not PNG tuber. It's cam time. There we go. Hello. Bring this up here. All right. Okay, let me remove my gill from the screen because I don't need that up anymore. Oh shit, oh fuck, oh balls, oh god, oh crikey. Okay. Ah! Yeah, we've just been, it's been story time with Oswald. Yep. As we do. Okay. So we're gonna do the Dark Knight quest first. I'm... I'm nervous. For those who don't know, I think everyone here already knows, the Dark Knight quest line has been very personal for me. I... I love it. It fills my heart with lots of joy. And it made me sob. I hold it near and dear to my heart. I don't know what to expect. All I know is that there's a good chance I will cry. <laughs> okay, so we need to go to the Forgotten Night because that's where... How how fitting! The Forgotten Night. Anyway, that's where Sudurgu is? I believe that was his name? Sigurdu? Sudurgu? Whatever the... Um... Ra's name was. I'm here for the crying. Danny, are you an emotional vampire? What is dog hair doing in your mouth? Have you ever owned a dog? True. Dog hair gets everywhere. Hey, yo. What? I mean, what's dog hair doing in your mouth? Did you not just say you had dog hair in your yeah, mouth? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. But, like, yeah. what do you mean, what is it doing in your mouth? It comes oh, yeah. out of nowhere. Yeah, it just spawns. I'm sure you're trying to unlock everything for Shadowbringers, so basically Dungeons and Trials and etc. Hell yeah. Get your shit done, boo. I'm good, Perfect Comics. Nice to see you. 
All right. Oh, Sadurgu. Yeah, that's it. Okay, here we go. Our closure. Oh, they will tell you you are one and you are two. You can choose. What does that mean? What does that even mean? Okay. Ah, uh, Pepper, it so happens I have a letter for you. But before we talk about that, mind telling me what you've been getting yourself into lately? You and your scions, I mean. I have an inkling, perhaps. Uh, I went and saved another world, as it seems. Have to go and kill a whole host of sin eaters? I'm gonna say the second one. I'm gonna say the second one. Um, come again? Reflections of the source? Parallel worlds? Sin eaters? What in the seven holes are you on about? Something tells me this is only going to make any kind of sense if you walk me through it from the beginning, step by step. All right. I got you, babes. Oh, we're getting a cutscene? Okay. No, not the sad music. Right then, so to sum, to sum up, you were swept up into yet another realm, shaking conflict, were you? A realm shaking conflict. Well, of course you were. You have an insatiable hunger for it, don't you? And even when you bite off more than you can chew, you refuse to let go. You may have a point. You didn't have to read me like that. What? As if you didn't know. Hells, from the moment I laid eyes on you, I suspected you were a particular blend of impulsive and stubborn. Okay! No need to call me out like that. Not in front of everybody, bro. Takes a special kind of bastard to become a Dark Knight, much less a warrior of light, don't you think? You traveled unto a doomed world and pledged your sword to a futile cause. You fought and you fought and you fought, and in the end, you won the day. Though I know it wasn't without loss, without sacrifice, victories like that are always bought with blood. But you and your comrades pay the price all the same. That faraway land and her people live on because you all were willing to fight to the bitter end. Because you were too stubborn to die. And because of love, I'm sure. <laughs> Being grim and dark will only get you so far, don't you remember? It's like the Mughals. Like Sir Omp is Ompanye? Ompan? I don't know. Himself said, the flame in the abyss, the love you bear for the ones you hold most dear. That is the source of true strength. Aw. I can't, I can't do this. I can't do this right now. Pepper could have never made it this far if her heart wasn't filled to the brim with love. Yeah! Mm. Is this a roundabout way of asking me about my heart's desires? I'd sooner pose that question to Sid. I'm gonna go with the first one. <laughs> let's let's not and say we did, eh? I'm sure that thankard fellow you mentioned would provide a far more meaningful and interesting <laughs> response. Having to look after the reincarnation of his surrogate daughter is certainly Though I suppose on some level I can relate. Yeah! Parallel Oh What? Oh, I have not once thought of you as my father. Well, no, I I mean, we're not even the same race, so of course no one would ever look at us and assume. What? If you want to put a label on it, then what would you prefer? Master and disciple? Manservant and noblewoman? Don't kill me. Sid. How about Chocobo's arse and whatever you damn well like? God, you could be daft sometimes. What? Hey. Hey! What'd I tell you about calling me that? Wait. Children, am I right? Best we give her a moment to cool her head. For now, let's talk about that letter I mentioned earlier. Oh, what is this letter? It's addressed to you, but who penned it, I cannot say. It was delivered to me by a young woman of the broom. Lunny, I believe her name was. Said she'd seen us with you out and about in Ishgard before, and reckoned that if she left it with us, you'd eventually be around to pick it up. Before you ask, no, I have not taken a peek. So its contents remain a complete and utter mystery to me. 
As for the sender, you'll have to pester Lenny at the Holy Stables if you want to know more. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have an angry girl to mollify. Oh, I'm scared. Who's sending me a letter? Who is sending me love notes? Oh, here we go. Unsigned letter. Within the sealed envelope is a paper, which you unfold to find a message written in a strangely familiar scrawl. Peppermint. You'll forgive me for the sudden correspondence and the secrecy. You helped me, in a way. Once upon a time. It's past time I said as much, and so... Here we are. Feels like a lifetime ago, come to think on it. You've been through quite a lot since then, accomplished incredible things. I like to think that, in some way, I was a part of your journey. Far from the breast- from the breast? <laughs> Far from the best, no doubt. But for me and my own journey, I think it's safe to say that you've been... Well, there's no suitable words to describe it, really. I've done things. Made decisions. Looking back, I can't help but feel more than a little foolish. But such is life, and we have to seize what few opportunities we have for closure. Even if it is through the written word and not face to face. So wherever you are, I hope you're happy. Still fighting, still adventuring, still doing what you love. Be well. Bye! You know, I will say, my eyes swelled. I don't know who sent me that, but that was sweet. The letter bears no signature or any obvious clues as to the author's identity. Perhaps Lenny can shed light on this mystery. Okay. I'm- I don't know who it could be. I'm wondering if it's someone, like, linked to the Dark Knight quest line? But I truthfully can't think of anybody unless it's, like, Sid. Or Frey, but why would it be Frey, right? I don't know. <laughs> Okay, let's see. Oh, here, right down here. Whenever I hear stables, I think of horses, but then I forget. Ah, yeah, chocobos. All right, there's Lenny. Righty. Oi, Lenny. It's you. It's really you. Peppermint, my hero. Honestly, I never thought I'd get to see you again, much less speak with you. What? Oh, I'm sorry. You probably don't remember me at all, do you? I'm not surprised. All in a day's work, I suppose. Saving little fools. Saving silly little fools like me. And it was so long ago when you rescued me from those temple knights who were trying to take me away from my grandmother. I still remember it like it was yesterday, though. You swinging that great big sword of yours, bellowing all kinds of terrible threats and sending them running. <laughs> I'm sure some might say you overdid it, but thanks to you, my grandmother and I never heard from that lot again. And ever since Sir Emmerich and his allies came into power, we've had a lot less of that trouble all over. But let me guess. You didn't come all this way just to see me, did you? No, I have a letter from someone that I don't recognize. <laughs> the letter, huh? I thought so. It wasn't me who wrote it, I can tell you that much. I got it from a knight I befriended after telling after tending to his chocobo a couple of times. Sir Patrunade? Patronade? He said it was to be delivered to the hero of the Scions, a peerless warrior with a thousand victories to her name. After he described her features in detail, it all fell into, p into place. And since I was certain you'd eventually pay a visit to your friends, I offered to take it to them. Anyway, he's the one you need to talk to if you're after the sender. Oh, so it's not him. Maybe check the congregation? I mean, that's where knights congregate, I presume? I like her. I like you, Lenny. Alright, let's go congregate with the knights. Hi, Antoine Bell! It's nice to see you. I'm good. How are you doing? I hope it's a love letter from Ishtola. I could only dream. Hey, Sarah! A carbonated viking. Um, I need my water. Give me one second. I need, I need something. My PC is screaming at me. I just noticed that. Oh, don't like that. But give me one second, babes.
All right, I've got my water. My agua. Yeah, I got my agua. My body, hold on. My body cannot decide if it wants to be hot or if it wants to be cold, so I'm I've got a lighter a lighter blankie. Okay. I've got a lighter blankie. So this'll this'll help, I guess. Um wait, this is not it. Yeah, the congregation of our knights most heavenly, so I have to go in here. Oh, I have to climb up? Do I have to Oh, I don't think I've ever actually gone all the way up here. Oh, this is new. I genuinely don't think I've ever gotten up here at all, unless that's something to do with the MSQ. Oh, they have little beds. They got little bunk beds here. Who's this? I don't even... I don't even know you! Alright, let's see. You! Um, uh, how may I be of service to you, Mistress Mint? I've got this letter, and I don't know who wrote it. The letter! Oh, what a relief it is to see that it arrived unmolested. Um, I don't, I don't like that. <laughs> it was entrusted to me by Arella of Ralgar's Reach. After the battle at the Gimlet Dark, I spent a few nights there, you see. I can only assume that whoever sent it to the Reach had heard tell of the battle between you and Lord Zenos, and how you had been brought to the barber. However, by the time it arrived, you had long since been spirited away to Ishgard. Had Lenny not recognized you from my stories, I do not know how I might have seen it in, into your hand. Okay, now I'm fucking freezing. Like, freezing, freezing. If you, speak, if you seek the author, mayhap you should pay a visit to the Reach? I know only what I told you, but surely a relic can tell you more. I mean, the Fury watch over and keep you, friend. Who the fuck? Oh my god, I'm just gonna be running in circles! Okay, where is Relgar's Reach again? Yeah, Girabanya. Uh... What? Oh, here we go. Who could it be? It said that the writing was unfamiliar, right? Or was it familiar? Was it the girl who tried starting a coup or whatever? Was it her? Is she sending me this letter? Who could it possibly be? It's someone that I've helped. Man, everyone is going left and right to get this letter to me, but no one ever thought, no one ever thought to just bring it to the rising stones or the waking, no, the waking sands are no more, right? So many places. A pleasure to see you. Lost that long-haired boy of yours again? Oh, the child. I forgot about the child. This is about the letter, is it? It came with a shipment of supplies from Little Alamigo, as I recall. I can only presume the sender was hoping that Commander Hex would see it to you personally, but I'm not surprised it escaped her notice given the chaos of the Gimlet Dark after. And after. It found its way into the me medical supplies, and as you well know, I decided to let the Ish that Ishgardian Knight take charge of its delivery. In any event, I advise you to continue search in Little Alamigo. Oh my god! And if anyone there knows aught of the letter's author, it would be Gundabald. Oh my lord! I am going ev- Thanalan? Okay. I am going everywhere! Oh my lord. Nothing tastes better than cold water. Oh my god, I don't have my ears on. Well, I'm not doing MSQ. So I don't need them on. Do y'all want me to put my ears on? Do I need them on? <laughs> is the illusion ruined? Illusion is shattered? <laughs> Yuzinha, how you doing? Welcome! And Sweaty Lopez, welcome as well. How y'all? How y'all doing? Well met, Pepper. I was not expecting a visit. What brings you to Southern Thailand this day? Well, I got this letter. This letter, you say, and you seek the author? If you read it, then you know their heart, what you meant to them, how you changed their life for the better. It is a feeling I understand all too well. 
which is why I agreed to send this letter with the supplies for Ralgar's Reach. You never were one to let a mystery remain unsolved, were you? You seek answers. Closure. I will not deny you this. Oh my god. Is that the whole meaning behind this? I'm not gonna get closure because you can't always get closure. Sometimes, sometimes you can't get closure. Oh no. At the Red Rooster Stead in Lower Lenosha, you'll find a man named Goatherd. Goatherd. Speak with him. Perhaps then you will find a measure of peace. All right. Is this gonna be someone that I help like at the beginning of the game? They were fake? No, I swear! My cat ears are not fake. Oh my god, and now I'm now I'm warm again. My body has just not been happy with me these last few days. I'm always overheating and like no, not even. My body is fine. The problem is I've been sweating a lot. Is your first level 80 job quest? Yes it is. Oh shit. All right, chat, I'm putting on the ears for y'all. I don't know what's going on with my body lately. My body can't decide what temperature it wants to be. Yes, put those ears on for us. I got you. I got you, Jen. Don't worry. I know y'all like your cat girls, okay? I'll have to take off the headset to do this, though. We love a cat girl moment. Oh, <gasps> what did I do? <laughs> shit boy, shit boy. Because I called her a piss girl and I had to tell her that shit boy was for you. Okay. Oh, is this Leia? Levies, leaves, whatever they're called. All right. So we got to go all the way past the God's grip. What if I started calling my pussy that? Yo, I got that God grip though. <laughs> Fuck gorilla grip. Have you heard of the God's grip? I said what I said. You can't put something called the God's Grip in a video game and not expect me to make a pussy joke. All right? Come on, devs. Come on, localization team. All right, I've made it. I'm here. Is it you? Did you send me this letter? Cutscene. It was this person. We found them! Oh, not the sad music. Oh, gods, it's you! <laughs> Bro! Come on! Oh, gods, it's you! But why? Why are you here? I said so, but I guess I'm gonna pass it, but I want a better. You. You really don't remember any of it? The Keycurn bandits? A certain merchant who may have overstepped his bounds just a trifle? You were a right bloody mess when you returned to the dry docks with my wares. And I do mean bloody. I say, is none of what I'm telling you ringing a bell? Really? Not even the part where I refuse to thank you and demand that you pay me restitution for the property you- yours <gasps> Yes! I do remember you now! Well, seeing as I've already confessed it, I may as well reiterate. It was me. No, I remember you now. That was just the beginning of my bad luck as it happens. SCV, thank you for the raid! Hi, friends. Hello. I'm Syra. I'm a Final Fantasy XIV streamer. We are doing some Shadowbringers content. So if you play Final Fantasy XIV and you don't want to get spoiled, this is your sign to leave. Otherwise, hello. Get comfy. The cry counter? I know. Leave me alone. I'm baby, okay? It's a lot higher than I wanted it to be. I'm not even done the fucking game. <laughs> a string of bad decisions left me in debt for some unforgiving fellows, and before I knew it, they had, ta they had taken damn near everything I owned. I was friendless, 
penniless, hopeless. And let me tell you, running afoul of the Warrior of Light had not done me any favors either. There was a time where I couldn't help but blame you for all my misfortune. What the fuck? Bro. And then, one day, when I was rummaging through my meager possessions, I had an epiphany. I stumbled upon a package from that shipment you recovered for me that ill-fated day. Flower bulbs, stained with Kikern blood, but viable for cultivation. Still brimming with the potential to grow and thrive. Before I knew it, I was cradling the package to my breast, sobbing and moaning like a mad fool. For a fool is exactly what I had been. I had been offered a kindness without let or lean, and instead of thanking this generous hero, wait, and instead of thanking this generous hero, I had spat in her face. Well, I said that weirdly. Face, not face. <laughs> so I left that life behind, save for the bulbs I brought with me here. Apprenticed myself to the botanist and resolved to start anew. <laughs> Wouldn't you know it, the stubborn little fiends finally bloomed for me. I suppose it's only fitting that you show up again that very day. I have a thousand thousand regrets, but none greater than how I spoke to you. I say this not to beg your forgiveness, but to tell you how you've changed me for the better, and to thank you for the opportunity. Oh. Oh. I do have one request if you are amenable to it. I pray you accept a flower, one of the precious few that has bloomed, a token of my heartfelt appreciation for my personal savior. Admittedly, this particular breed is perhaps best suited for funerals and farewells, but if you'd rather not keep it for yourself, perhaps for someone else who might welcome it? Someone else indeed. With the chat mode and say, enter fray to call it to your comrade in the Kirthus Central Highlands. Oh, fray! Oh, my heart! Okay, let's go. Let's go find fray. Can I just do it anywhere? I'm assuming I just need to be here. What kind of flower did he give you? I actually don't know. It looked like he planted a bunch of lavender, but I, I don't know. Is it not in my army chest? Is it in my inventory? Um, nope. Oh wait, do I have this already? I did not have that. Okay, I have all these. All right, can I just do it here? No, I can't do it here. Oh, I have to go over there. I see it now. Santiago, the resistance race I appreciate it. Thank you. Alrighty. I don't talk about Overwatch anymore. This is a Final Fantasy for or a Final Fantasy stream. Yeah, which you need to start playing, by the way. Friendship with Overwatch has ended. New best friend is Final Fantasy. <laughs> oh, not here. Okay, Frey. Too far away? Bitch, I am I am in the zone. Is there a is there a specific spot you want me to ah, I see. Destination. Okay. Frey. There's no response. Yet there can be no answer, but this can there. So let's wait for time, you and I. Is the game speaking to me right now? In the cold and in the snow, in the dark. Why am I getting so emotional? <laughs> Nothing has happened and I'm crying! <laughs> Not this song! Yes, girl, pay your respects. Oh, it's so cute. It's like a little iris. Oh. 
the wind? No, my flower! My flower! Where is she going? Well, there goes my flower, I guess. Hopefully Frey finds it. Clever, clever, clever. Or are we just playing it by ear? No matter. That's me. I wanted this once. More than anything. A chance to speak and be heard. Neither of us needs it anymore. And if we were to look- Oh, why am I crying? And if we were- Oh, I can't even read! <laughs> I can't even read it! <laughs> My eyes are already blurry. And if we were to look deep within ourselves, we would realize that we never did. Oh, Chad! We are the stories we tell ourselves. The brave hero, the tortured soul, the altruist, the pragmatist. They will tell you who they see, but you and you alone know who you are. For I speak only for myself. If you find comfort in my words, they are yours for the taking. For that is your choice. Now and ever after, as it has always been. Now comes your part to cloak yourself in the fiction, to breathe life into the dead, to give a voice to the voiceless. As we did together that day, when you gave us our answer. Was it ever mine? Girl. Girl. Well, <laughs> well, I'm good. I'm fine. Oh. I'm one with the darkness. <laughs> Me and my bad self. <laughs> okay, so now we have to go speak with Sid. Back in the forgotten night. going to complete this quest and hopefully I don't get a tearjerker response hopefully these two sort out their problems and welcome back pepper as you can see real and I are getting along swimmingly so you didn't worry about us in the slightest not one bit so or that mysterious unsigned letter did your grand search for answers lead you anywhere interesting closure perhaps so, well, glad to hear it, I suppose. I'm just gonna sit. <laughs> I'm just gonna sit. I'm seeing double four peppers? Nah, if there were four peppers, the game would explode. That's too much cuteness. Do we, are, that counts? That's not 34, Jen, that's only 33. Right? Things feel a bit spicy. Need a little extra pepper in your step. Hit that sub button to Sarah. Sarah spices up your time. So don't delay, 
Ensure you're not salty and heat up that peppery fun with Saya by subbing today. Amen. Flame, thank you for the 19 month resub. I super appreciate it. Welcome back to the common. I hope you enjoy Badger Mods in your stay. Oh my god, rocking that Founders badge. We love to see it. Missed you, friend. No, oh, missed you too. How have you been? It has been a hot minute since you've been in my stream. Happy anniversary. To what? <laughs> Bye, Ray. How are you? Grace Sushi, thank you for the prime sub. Welcome to the Governor of Badger Mods and your stay. <sighs> I'm a little sad, chat. Anniversary of Tifa getting railed in the Italian Senate? What? What, right? Not gonna lie, I kinda wanna play the Final Fantasy 14 or 17, 7, fuck, the Final Fantasy 7 remake? I still have yet to play it. I heard it was very good. You don't know about this? No? What do you mean she got railed? I've been super busy, had a big move, new job, broke with a girlfriend, the whole nine yards. Good lord, you went through hell and back, and now look at you. Yes, Italian Tifa? What do you mean, Italian Tifa? What do you mean by that? And why did she get railed? Apart from the fact that she's fine as hell. Oh, God, the Dark Knight questline is so good. It it feels like therapy to me. I'm not in therapy anymore, by the way, chat. Um, I leveled up. My seven months of therapy has paid off and now I'm therapy free. Um, well, I say therapy free, but I'm not therapy free. I'm just now no longer on uh, weekly sessions. I'm now down to whenever the fuck I need therapy so I can just contact my therapist and book an appointment. So I'm super excited and I'm super proud of myself. So, yeah. So I got, I got my closure too. <laughs> Yennefer is in Lost Ark. This is not a drill. I repeat, not a drill. I guess it's time for me to play Lost Ark so I can be Yennefer at the game Lost Ark. That now has Yennefer in it. Thank you, Red, for the four months for the four months reason. I appreciate it.
Okay, I'm fine. But unfortunately, now we're at 35. Check the article I sent you. I don't want to read the article about Tifa Lockhart getting railed in a church. Or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fine. I'll look at the article. I'm scared. I'm scared. <laughs> Italian government meeting interrupted by Final Fantasy whatever that number is, porn? Of course, it's a clip of Tifa Lockhart. Yesterday, Italian lawmakers gathered for a Zoom meeting to discuss data transparency. However, they got more than they bargained for when an NSFW video of Final Fantasy's Tifa Lockhart began playing during the meeting! Oh no! The video lasted for around 30 seconds, but we're pretty sure it felt longer than that for those in the meeting. The call was hijacked by a participant who was sharing their screen. Oh no! <laughs> oh, that's amazing! Amazing, let them cook! <laughs> oh man. Is this what y'all want to see? Is this your streamer? I'm crying with cat ears on. Look at the little tear. Look at my little teardrops on my shirt. <laughs> That's our streamer. I'm so proud of myself. I had such a bad year last year. It felt like nothing good was happening in 2022. Like, everything sucked. And, like, all I had was this game. <laughs> I didn't have anything else. This is the only game that I've been playing since, like, I picked it back up and I think, like, I don't know, April? But I'm just, I'm really proud of myself, that's all. Okay, I gotta continue playing this game. <laughs> and I'm supposed to be doing the MSQ. How am I supposed to do the MSQ like this? Okay. <laughs> no, this doesn't count for the cry counter. Don't let Jin tell you otherwise. Proud of you too, bestie. <laughs> Thanks, Emmy. <laughs> okay. Is there anything? Oh god, hold on. Daddy. Where are you, Daddy? Are you going to come and find me? Congrats, Syra. I'm proud of you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for the dono. That was so big. What the fuck? <laughs> Thank you for the two hundred dollar dono, Tempest. I really appreciate it. Okay. Okay. 
Okay. Hear me out. What? What? What is it, Ray? You just transferred over to my data center to say hear me out? <laughs> Paris, thank you for the gifted sub again. I appreciate it. To everybody that got gifted subs, welcome to the coven. I hope you enjoy your badge. Your emotes in your sight. I'm trying to be like you. Thank you for being an inspiration role model. You're welcome. Tifa got railed so that you could walk. Girl, get the fuck out of here. Okay. So... Before we dive into, like, the first quest for... Sorry, I meant my, uh, my world, Ray, my bad. Um, but before I dive into the first quest for Shadowbringers 5.1, is there anything I should do before, or can I do the role quests and stuff later? I'll give you a big hug, fam. Is there any one of them for me? Thank you, dentist. I do love hugs, so that would have been greatly appreciated. <sighs> I already gave you my words, but I'll never stop telling you. I'm proud of you. Thank you, Pars. Okay. Yeah, is there anything that I should know that I should do? Maybe the trial series, but MSQ is fine before 5.1? Or like, or can that wait? Because I don't know if I have like the spoons for side content right now. I'm down to do some, but I really want to get into the MSQ. Because I know chat said that there's a bunch of things that I should do. Um, before Endwalker. It only gets more emotional, so I've been told. The trial series can be a bit later? Okay. So I'm good to go? Five point one and 2 is fine? Okay. So we can start it then. Why am I just standing in the fountain? I too like I too like big bear hugs. Big old bear hug attack if I ever meet Sire. Good. Good. I need those. I be needing those. <laughs> I'm a big hugger. I love giving hugs. If you don't want a hug though, I'll give you a high five or absolutely nothing. What the hell are the beaver quests? What in the goddamn hell is a beaver quest? <laughs> Stand in fountain with certain dominance. I think I could bear hug and pick you up and spin you around three times, as you should. It's what I deserve, Danny. Okay. No more crying. I'm not crying anymore. I'm done crying. I'm not gonna cry for the rest of the X pack. I'm good to go. <clears throat> I'm a hero. I'm a trooper. I'm a god. I got this. Their quests about beavers? Nah, you're joking. If I bear hug Sarah, I'd eat her into space. Good. I do deserve that. No more crying. A bold assertion, Sarah. I envy the confidence. I uh, mean it. I mean it. I mean it. <laughs> Shake and resolve. Tataru seems eager to make up for lost time. Oh, by the way, chat, how do y'all feel about about the MSQ, not MSQ, but the the quests and stuff being big like this? Do you want me to put them here? Is this cool? Like, is this fine? Do you want them centered? What do you, what's the preference? Hey, Lucas, that's copium. A lie detector determined that is a lie. No, 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 no. It's not gonna get above 35, okay? It's gonna stay there. Wherever the fuck you want. Yeah, I know! I mean, I don't have a preference. I just wanna make sure that, like, chat can see, you know? That's why I made it big, so, like, people can, like, see the icons and stuff, like, when they're on mobile. That way we can still see Pepper? Okay. So, let's do... Let's do this.
Let's do that. It's staying at 35. Sorry, yes, it's staying at 35. I'm not expecting you to break a 40. I'm not gonna. We're not gonna. I'm not a crier. I don't I never cry. Said the person who um cried like ten times during two Shadowbringer streams. No, never happened. No, no. Okay, so Tataru seems eager to make up for lost time. Yes. Pepper! Gods, it's good to see you. I hope you're being I hope your being here means you've had your fill of rest. More than my fill. Not so much as 40 winks, truth be told. Um more than my fill. I've been sleeping pretty good. Well, you certainly earned it. Not much has happened since your last visit. I had planned for you to meet that helper I told you about, but he refused to answer his link pearl. I do hope he's all right. We've been exchanging messages with the Orzine Alliance throughout. Throughout, though, they say the fighting has finally stopped at uh, Gimmelt Dark, and that the Empire's shown no sign of movement, which means we might actually have a moment to ourselves for a change. Seeing as you're back, maybe you could tell me more about your time in the first? Mm. Great! Oh, and if you don't mind, I'd like to ask, uh, Lamine, I don't remember how to pronounce her name, to join us. She'll want to know what happened to Minfilia, and I think it's best she hears it from you. Right, she was Minfilia's adopted mum, right? Um, we'll meet you on the terrace at the House of Splendors. Na -na 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 -na. There's a fucking terrace, Tataru? Right. We're not making it through in a stream without crying. Bro, you just had a 10 minute cry sesh. Do not speak to me. Do not look at me. You do not know me. <laughs> Siren cried. Never heard of it. No, never. No, absolutely not. No. And big girls don't cry. So I've noticed one of my new ticks is reapplying lipstick because it makes me feel like I'm doing something. It's the same way where like I touch my hair every time I'm reading. And I'm always like fidgeting and blinking a lot. Like playing with my hands and stuff. Okay. So MSQ is up here. Ayo. Ayo. Give me that shit. Alright, where am I going? Up here? Aha! Hello! Pepper. My, it has been too long. Totaru did mention that I would be joining you, did she not? Mm hmm. Thank you. Words cannot fill. Words cannot well express how I have longed to know more of the first. This world, Minfilia, has sacrificed so much to save. But come, rest your feet. Tataru should be arriving shortly. Cutscene, please tell me that it's voiced. Not the sad music. And so Minfilia chose to pass on her gifts to the next oracle? This girl who Thancred named Reen? To have such a burden thrust upon her as a child, only to embrace it when given the choice. In that respect, they are quite alike. It would seem her legacy is indeed in capable hands. Pepper, might I ask a favor of you when you next return to the first? Tell Reen what I cannot. To tell her... I am strong. Big girls don't cry. <laughs> I am strong. It, mm, to tell her, thank you. That would offer thanks to you as well for staying with her to the end. your pardon, but can I have a word? Uh, who's this? Mmm! Riol, I hope you're here to tell me you've received word from our helper. <coughs> I wish. 
Nay, I've not had a peep out of him. And it's been a good long while now, too. Too bloody long. On account of which, I'm gonna sneak over the over the border and see if I can't get a signal to him from closer up. But what if they catch you? There must be another way. Well, it ain't as if we can ask the anchor to do it. Besides, I shouldn't have no trouble picking me way through Gim Gimlet. Gimlet. Now the fighting's died. Blah! Now the fighting's died down. God knows there's enough shadows to hide in. And it beats waiting around here twiddling me thumbs. Hey, Road. I just thought I'd let you know. Not best be. Ah! I nearly forgot! Creel's at the stones, and she wants a word. Or Kryle. Something to do with the patients. She was getting ready to examine again when I left. I don't like this ominous music. We'd best head back then. I'm sure it's important. <sighs> I didn't cry, chat. I didn't cry. But I almost did. <laughs> Wait, I want to talk to her again. Sorry, I'm coming back. I know that was really dramatic, but I just I just want to see if you have anything else to say to me. Where are you? Where are you, Grandma? 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 Grandma. You need to worry about me. Go and see what Kryl, Kryl has to say. Alright, bye, Grandma. I'm out of here. Literally 40 seconds after I say I'm not gonna cry, I literally have to suck back up a tear. <laughs> Bye, Grandma. Pepper's that security guard with the with their tear about to pop out. I'm like, no, get back in there, so the tear back in. Literally me. Literally me. Alrighty. <clears throat> I have boogers in my throat right now. And they're bothering me, chat. It seems she's still examining them. Oh, I do hope it's nothing bad. I might need to make some tea. Hello. You're here. <gasps> Good. It's voiced. Oh, sweet girl, I missed you. So, how are they? Oh, the Scions? Still locked in slumber, but otherwise in good physical health. Man, I actually forgot about that. For the present, at least. What do you mean by that? For the present? Oh no, is something wrong with them? I'm afraid there may be. Fuck. I summoned you after detecting faint signs of instability in Thancred's corporeal ether. But subsequent examinations suggested all five might be affected. And when I examined them just now, my fears were confirmed. Tellingly, the degree of instability varies between them. Thancred exhibits the most notable signs, followed by Yushtola and Urianger. The twins' ether, meanwhile, remains relatively stable, but there is a change there, too, if one knows to look for it. Hold on. Isn't that the order they were called away in? Whoever's been gone the longest? Indeed. They need to return, Which leads me to believe maybe? the instability will only yeah. increase with time. The longer they're away from their bodies, I guess. Though I can but speculate... I fear this may be a symptom of a weakening link between body and soul. Oh no. By the gods! What happens if the link is broken? I cannot say for certain. This is all unknown territory to us. Yet whatever happens, it cannot be good. Mercifully, the instability is still only slight. And you may rest assured, Master Matoya and I will do everything in our power to keep it from worsening. Good. Be that as it may, it is imperative that you find a way to restore our friends' souls to their bodies. Why me? I'm stupid! <laughs> no rest for the righteous, eh? No, leave it to me.
Thank you. But where's she even supposed to start? We had the greatest minds in the realm hunting high and low for an answer, and they ran out of places to look. The only person I could think of asking is Emmett, but Emmett's dead, so like... I also don't know, like, you I couldn't contact him anyways if he was alone. Oh, he would know too! His own death, correct? Grahatia would know, probably, yeah. Raha always was a reckless young fool, ready to die for the first righteous cause that came along. His plan might well have worked, but I for one am glad he never had the opportunity to see it through. Even if it does mean our friends must remain stranded a while longer. There is another way, I am sure of it. And the key lies with him, with the Exarch. Pray return to the first and apprise him and the others of the situation. Bet. We meanwhile will do what we can from here. And, if the fates are kind, we will have good news to okay, share. Okay, I have a question. Time. I have a question. So, I know that I can just TP to the first. But can I actually do that in game? You know what I mean? No, I, I know I could do it in game, but like, logistically, is Pepper capable of literally bouncing between worlds? How, like, can someone, like, explain that to me? Because I'm sure it was explained in game. But, like, it, I, I'm, I'm kind of, I'm, I'm a little bit silly. Ah, Pepper's, oh, hi, Ponto. Pepper's the only one that can. I'm special. I am special, true. I am. Right! Right! Okay, it's back. Okay, we're good. Thank you. Thank you, chat. Yeah. Okay. You knocked it back into me. Yeah. Okay. Right! Right! I'm the only one that- Right! Yes! Okay! Yes! Okay, it's all coming back. It's all coming back. Thank you. Sorry, my my memory with the MSQ is like really bad because like they feed me so much information that like I don't know how to like process it, you know? As well, taking you into the first was handled differently than the rest. It leaves you able to traverse both sides freely. Uh, you can TP wherever you're attuned. You've attuned. They, uh, the others can't really attune because their bodies aren't there. True. have a stable connection between the stars. Once you're on the stream of ether, it's simple to retread the path. You rode the stream of ether from the source to the first. It's why you can't teleport to etherites you haven't attuned to yet. I'm so sexy. I'm just so sexy. Pepper is just the sexiest. Pepper is such a sexy character. I love this for her. Oh, there's so many side quests. Oh, no. Oh, my God. So much blue. I don't even, I don't, I don't even, I don't even have space. I can pick up six. How you doing? I'm all right, Ponto. I'm good. I just had a big fucking cry, but you know, we ball. Oi. Where's the quest here? What? Where is it? Is it in here? Can I go in here? What the fuck? Quest? Oh, I want to collect all the quests now. Oh, I'm hungry for quests. Here's one. This is from Bethana. By the time you hear this, Bethana the Crystarium Guard has a look of grim determination in her eyes. Excuse me, a word if you'd be so kind. We of the Crystarium Guard have a request to make of you. Our researchers are planning to enter the Crystal Tower to learn more of its history. However, there is a problem. Now, what I am about to reveal is strictly confidential. Is that why you're telling me it in the in public? Were word to get out, panic would spread throughout the cit citizenry. Our scouts have reported that ferocious beasts and bizarre machines roam the hallways. What? Until we can eliminate these threats, none may enter. Strange ethereal readings have also been detected, and we suspect that the phenomena are linked. The Exarch has ordered us to seek your aid in making the tower safe for our researchers to go about their work. Is this a new raid? He mentioned that you are better equipped than most to face the dangers that lurk in the tower, though he elected not to go into detail. Is this true? <laughs> And then your prior experience may prove beneficial. 
Come, let us proceed to the entrance. Okay. Oh, it's a dungeon? Hell yeah. Hell yeah! Alright, okay. Alright. Chat, should I quickly unlock all the blues and then continue MSQ? They are teasing me. You can't just put all these blues in front of me. Oh my god, this song is gonna be- I'm gonna cry. Bro, I can't even listen to the music in this game without like huffing and puffing. Anxious Crystarium Guard? Ayo, same. Oh yes! Reen and Thancred left to go to go research something, right? One of the Crystarium Guards is particularly relieved to have found you. I'm getting a cutscene for this? Ah, Pepper, have you seen Reen? She's been looking for you. Oh, they're back. Wait here. I'll go and get her. Oh, this is the raid? Sexy. I shall wait for the baby. I shall wait for the sweet bane. <gasps> Hi, Bean! There you are. The truth is, I need your help. No, hold on. I haven't even told you what it is yet. <clears throat> After you defeated Emmett Selk, I sensed a strange concentration of light somewhere far to the south, in the empty, the lands that were once swallowed by the flood. Wait, what? I can't tell what it is, but we have to find out. For all we know, it might even be another Light Warden. What? Whatever it may be, I don't intend to stand by and watch. I'll... Sorry, I'm getting ahead of myself. Thancred, Urianger, and I have a few theories that we plan to test once we find whatever's causing this. The three of us were reluctant to ask for your help, considering everything that you've been through. The thing is, you're the only person who can defeat a Light Warden without becoming one yourself, so we have no choice. But we don't want to jump to conclusions. It would be a good idea to have you there, just in case. So, will you come with us? I wouldn't have it any other way. Thank you, Pepper. This means a lot. First of all, let's head to the Derrick in the Emerang. Thank her and Uri and Jay should have everything ready by now. Sick. That's the raid tier for Shadowbringers. In my opinion, the best raid in the game. Really? I will keep that in mind. Speaking of, I'm gonna swap to Reaper finally, so I can start slowly leveling it. Because I know I said to play it in Endwalker, but... Well, wait, should I wait to play it in Endwalker? Or, like, can I just start playing it now? I'll just start playing it now. Fuck it. Alright, there's another blue one right here. Oh, this is also where MSQ is. So, you know what? We'll just do both. Oh, Skywatcher! Oh, no. Lorfeo. I bet I could do that. What? How long were you standing there in silence? Did you know it's rude to... to... Wait. Aren't you that mortal bonded to Feo Ul? Well, now, isn't this a pleasant surprise? I have a proposal I was meaning to put to you, as it happens. Interested? So these Skywatchers you see all over, they're good at what they do, but even they can't tell you if it's raining or whatever back on the source, no? But with my help, they could. Aye aye, I could cross the rift, see what the weather is like for myself, come back, and share my knowledge with these mortals by whispering to them in their dreams. I could do the same for the Skywatchers on the other side, too. Everyone would have all the answers, and they wouldn't even know how they got them. <laughs> Wouldn't that be grand? Your sounds is all the approval I need. Off I go. <laughs> Due to Lorfeo meddling with the dreams of Skywatch and the source in the first, Skywatchers may now provide forecasts for every region regardless of the location. Sick! A wise woman once said that she that who? That she who does not pay heed to the skies will most surely get wet. Son of ice, if you ask me. Would you like to hear what the skies tell us this fine day? Wait! Oh, this is really cool! That's really cool! Alright. Let's go this way. So I have a quest to continue over here. <laughs> and then I have the Crystal Exarch, so we'll go there next. I take it your preparations are complete? Listen carefully. You are to lead a party of elite troops into the tower and respond to any hostility with lethal force. Once the way is clear, the researchers can begin their expedition. Our main objective is to identify the source of the ethereal disturbance. The tower cannot be considered safe until we do. 
Should you encounter any opposition by beyond your capabilities, you are to withdraw immediately. I wish you the best of luck. Thanks, bestie. The twinning. Interesting. All right, let's go do this MSQ. Hi, white wrestler. Do what you want. I will. I will. I think. Yeah, I think I'll just start now. May as well. Or I guess like. I don't know. It might be better to just do Dark Knight. Cause like, yeah, I'm not gonna get that much XP. Yeah, you know what, I'll just fucking say Dark Knight. But I wanna warm up my Reaper too. I haven't played Reaper in a hot minute. Check on Thancred. You want me to go do that mission now? Wait chat, give me one second. I gotta pee. I'll be right back. My Reaper is level 82. So it's pretty much ready for Anwalker.
Yes, I did the Dark Knight quest and I cried. <laughs> We have a big old plate of drumsticks. Kelsey, share with the class. A practicing Reaper could do the 80 raids on it for fun. On that raids yours a lot personally, but that's up to you. And that could be a good idea. I feel like it's less practicing Reaper and more so just like getting back into the groove, you know what I mean? Because sometimes, like, I'll stop playing a class for a little bit, and then I'm like, oh, shit. You know, like, it takes me a hot second to get the muscle memory back. You know? Okay. But yeah, I did the, um, Dark Knight, level 80 Dark Knight quest, and I cried. It reminded me that I'm done my therapy. And I've gotten the best closure I could ever get in real life. And now in game. So I, um, I, I, uh, I did a cry. <laughs> mm. Well, the only quests that I play, Ponto, are Dark Knight and Astrologian and Reaper. So, I mean, relatable. Here for your last, thank you. And thank you for the welcome backs. First time, because now I must leave for work. Bye, Mango! Yeah, I'm very, very proud of myself. Last year was a very difficult year, and I... I made it. I got through it. So, good for me. <laughs> All right. Okay, let's see what Mr. Mr. Graha has. Ah, Pepper, you are returned. I hope your time in the source was suitably restful. But of course, it wasn't. Go on. Their corporeal ether shows signs of instability? By the gods, the possibility never even occurred to me. If you have returned in the hope that my research has yielded a solution, I fear you will be sorely disappointed. No. Tis but a mercy we have the likes of Mistress Kryle and Master Matoya to keep our body, our friend's body safe while we wrestle with the problem. But they cannot forestall the separation of body and soul indefinitely. Come, the others must be told. I'm not looking forward to this. I feel like someone's gonna die trying to get back to the source. I'm scared. <laughs> Here they come. My babies! Mommy! Or you're reading Thanker and Uriange are elsewhere, right? What a great discussion we're having. Incredible. Incredible. Oh. Oh, they're here. Just late. Or Uriange is here. Pray excuse my late arrival. Boys acting. Will Thancred and Reen not be joining us? Nay, my lady. With apologies to all, they beg leave to pursue their investigation mm. of the empty to its conclusion. Should matters here demand their presence, however, they did assure me that they would make themselves available. Yes, of course. Then let us proceed. I, I think it best that you begin by providing a summary of Mistress Kryle's findings. I suppose it was only to be expected that some change would occur. Yet our souls seem unaffected, to my eye at least. How long they will remain so is another question. Kryle is right. It is imperative we find a way to return to the source. 
Perhaps an explanation of the method by which I brought you here will yield some inspiration. You better not want me to explain that. Ere I begin, it must be noted that I am by no means a gifted mage. In order to employ powerful magics, I must rely upon the crystal tower and its boundless reservoirs of energy. I just noticed everybody here is like a mage. The magic that summoned you was no exception. It is a singular spell adapted through painstaking effort from the technique that transported me to the first. To use an analogy, it works by cutting a hole in the fabric of reality. A hole tailored to the object of summoning through which it and it alone may pass unscathed. Though I succeeded in creating said hole, I failed to latch onto my intended target. Instead of you, the spell found those close to you and ended up summoning them in their incomplete state. Isola did not like that. <laughs> I would not soon throw my life away, not after the lengths you and yours went to save it. And so long as I breathe, I will spare no effort to see you safely home. But should all else fail, and your lives be at stake, there remains one sure method. Bringing their bodies here? Oh. <laughs> what was that for? I love her! How can you even entertain such thoughts? You owe your life to the Warrior of Light, and you don't get to die unless she says so. Tell him, baby girl! <laughs> I love her! Your followers await your divine judgment. He said... I love this. I love it. I love it. <laughs> if the two of you have finished, perhaps we could return to what our discussion? <laughs> Rather than dwelling My upon sips. multiple failed attempts at transference, <laughs> I think it would behoove us to focus on the solitary success. I would draw your attention to the fact that our friend can travel between worlds possessed not only of her body and soul, but her personal effects besides. Are you telling me to bring their bodies here? This is no different from the teleportation magics to which we are all accustomed. Magics that allow for the transportation of those inanimate objects one considers to be an extension of oneself. Are you suggesting that simply by considering us her possessions, she could carry our souls back to the source upon her person? And not the other way around? <laughs> well, it would be nice if things were that simple for a change. But vague notions of ownership seem a rather tenuous thing to stake our lives on. So much as a moment of doubt on her part and we'd be left floating in the rift. Mm. I want y'all to be lost. Milady hath the right of it. The requisite fixity of belief would be too much to ask even of our friend. Yet were we to immure our souls within an object in her possession, mayhap then our safe passage could be assured. Am I gonna put you all in the crystals? White aurasite would, I believe, serve as a suitable vessel for this purpose. It was conceived to imprison the massy soul of an Asian, and should house one of ours with relative ease. Oh. We would need only to ensure our soul's safe preservation inside the stone, and identify a means by which they might be transferred back unto our vacant bodies. Oh, I'm so scared one is going to crack. Soul preservation and transference. Hmm. I believe I know of someone who may be able to assist us. Oh? You share. On the far shore of the source, there stands a great palace built by the elves. It was forsaken in the wake of the flood, but a certain new mo chose to make their home there soon after. Though they have long lived as a recluse, they once occupied a place of honor in Verbert's royal court, and it is said that none in all of Norvrant is more knowledgeable than they on matters of the soul. Well, I've no objection to seeking a helping hand, but if they've gone to such lengths to hide themselves away from the world, what makes you think they'd be willing to lend us one? Because we saved their world? <laughs> a worthy question. 
Years ago, I myself tried and failed to solicit their cooperation in the battle against mm. the Sin Eaters. No sooner had I begun to make my plea than they unleashed a swarm of their familiars upon me. Oop. <laughs> Unlike me, however, you have curried favor with the Fey Folk. By that merit alone, I am hopeful that they would grant you an audience. They may still be inclined to turn you away, of course, but if their knowledge might feasibly facilitate your return home, we have to try. Well, here we go. Alize is my tier three sub, so true. Oh, more piss for me? Collecting my bottles of piss? All right. I got a weapon there. Crystarium weapon coffer. Ooh. Let me see, let me see. I wanna see, I wanna see. Augmented Crystarium Greatsword. It it's um it's basic, but honestly, I kinda like it. Look at it. It's actually kinda nice. Look at the like the the rigid like the ridges or whatever Ooh. are those like all four nations question mark it's quite nice a grand adventure the crystal exarch would waste no time in seeking help for your stranded comrades the grand cosmos that is the palace we seek sends on the opposite shore of the source i will arrange for a boat to carry us there Whilst thou journeyest thither, <laughs> will whilst thou journeyest thither, 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 Urianje, I am begging you to stop saying thither. I can't say it. Thither, Th thither, 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 thither. I, I fucking thither. 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 I know, I'm literally just saying scissor with a lisp. Thither. 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 Thither? Thither. Thither. Am I saying it right, chat? Thither. 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 Is that correct? Thither? Thither? Thither. 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 Okay. I got it. I got it. I will hear this echoing in my brain tonight while I try to sleep. You're welcome. Thither, 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 thither. I got I got you with the ASMR. Thither, 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 thither. Thither, thither. Thither. Whilst thou journeyest thither, I think it best that I devote mine energies to the creation of white orosite, by thy leave, of course. The process requireth no small amount of time, and should the Numu consent to lend us their aid, we will have need of a suitable vessel ere long. Agreed. Then I would ask the rest of you to meet me in Sullen, and do be prepared for a warm reception. I got it! Thither! 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 Th thither! Wait, I'm gonna... I'm gonna wrap up these quests too. Hold on. Okay, hold on. Um... Where do I exit? Over here. Oh, you know what? Let me talk to Mr. Urianger real quick. Pray join the others in Sullen. I shall turn my thoughts to the Orsite and apprise Thancred and Reen of our progress. So speaking like Urianger ASMR when? Never. I'm actually about 
I'm about to actually grind some Final Fantasy for once. Good. Go do your leveling. Do your daily roulettes. And do a bunch of fates. Get those levels up. Do those job quests. I believe in you. Oh, shit. Oh! The entrance to the dungeon is right here. Did anyone want to do it with me? <laughs> I don't necessarily want to do it now, but... I'm down if you need, but... It's fun, smiley face? Why did you smile? I don't know. I don't know if I trust that smile. Okay, let's go down here. Oh, there's an area that I haven't unlocked yet. Oh, an area up there as well. Alright. How far do I have to go? Oh, not that far. Just over here somewhere. Now, speak at Reen near the Derrick. Is it this? One of these? Oh, there they are. Ariosha, how'd you get here so fast, boo? Alright, I'm gonna mute alerts now that I'm doing some MSQ. Actually, no, I'm fine. We're good. Oh, fuck me! I doubt they post any sort of challenge to her. What that I could say the same. Shit, give me one sec, chat. Oh, fudge. Oh, fudge. Oh, fuck shit, balls. What did I miss? I hope the desert creatures didn't give you too much trouble on the way here. I doubt they posed any sort of challenge to her. What that I could say the same with confidence about whatever fiend may be waiting for us out there. Even if the light that Reen sends turns out to be nothing of con consequence, the empty is hardly the most welcoming of places. Anything that could survive out there is not to be trifled with. Moreover, it should be reiterated that the light blasted wasteland poseth a severe th a as severe a threat as any foe we might face. In any event, we are in agreement that this phenomenon doth warrant investigation. Though for lack of more precise means of navigation, we must needs rely on Reen's innate abilities to guide us. I have formed several hypotheses regarding the, na the nature of the light, but speculation is a poor substitute for first-hand observation. There will be plenty of time for us to talk about it on the way. Is the Sky Slipper ready, Thancred? Ready to take us wherever we need to go. Hi. Back again, too. Maybe if we ask it nicely. Oh, this thing! Though the light hath been expunged from Norvrent, the ambient ether of the empty is still corrupted. Dangerous, dangerously so, in fact. The flood of light devastated everything in its wake. The soil, the air, the water, all rendled, rendered incapable of supporting life. Tis due to this imbalance that the empty remaineth utterly un uninhabitable, even a century thereafter. That's why we're taking every possible precaution between the etherometers, yeah, the etherometers, ethometers, whatever. I've packed and I've packed, wait, between the etherometers I've packed and Reen's unique abilities, we should be able to detect and measure any fluctuations in our alignments. According to the Crystarium Scouts, a few days out there won't affect us to any no noticeable degree, but much longer than that and we risk becoming sin eaters. Ooh. Since we still don't know how Chocobos and Amaro will fare in the empty, we opted for a more mechanical mode of transportation. This comes courtesy of the researchers at the Mean, who found it in the Crystal Tower and restored it to, restored it to working order. It's quite safe, I promise. The person in charge said he'll have parts delivered from the Crystarium should anything break. He seemed quite eager to see, the, to see what we bring back from the empty, even though I told him we're not hunting for treasure. I'll introduce you if we have a chance to stop by Mord's Souk at some, t at some point. Anyway, I think that covers everything. When you're ready to leave, just say the word. Alright. Well then, shall we? Depart for the empty? Do I go, chat? Do I depart? I'm departing. We're going. Oh my god, does Reen have the mini little passenger seat? <laughs> Was 
the name like the empty. I wasn't expecting much in the way of pleasant scenery. This is downright depressing. <laughs> to look on the land swallowed by the flood with mine own eyes. This is a chilling sight indeed. Approximately nine tenths of this world are as this. A slate all but wiped clean. Were it not for the warriors of darkness and Amphilia. Green, are you sure we're heading in the right direction? Yes, I'm certain. There's no telling how far away it is, though. Nothing for it but to keep going, then. You two back there may as well take a nap. I have a feeling we have a good few moms ahead of us. <laughs> nap time for Pepper! Pepper gonna take a nap! I mean, it's pretty! It is kind of barren and, well, empty. But it's pretty! Sometimes empty can be nice. I have to say, it's a touch larger than I was expecting. And is it sleeping? What? What does that mean? Wait. Okay, what is that? Those look like feathers. But that also looks like a ship. No, it's waking up. Is it a wa Yeah, I don't like the sound of that. Is it a light warden? That's what I was gonna ask. No? No, I don't think so. Instead of being filled with light, it is light. What? Light Yagami is in this game? The first Sin Eater. What? Long have I strived to unravel the mystery surrounding the Flood of Light. To discover what set that terrible cataclysm in motion. Every thread led to the same conclusion. The same single point. Or single being. I have reason to believe that the entity we see before us is the first Sin Eater. The instigator of the Flood. The very foe Minfilia vanquished a century ago. Fuck. She gave everything she had, and won. But this abomination could undo her work. Oh, fuck? Wait? Aye, the possibility cannot be denied. Though it is oft said that destruction and creation are but, bo are, are but two sides of the same coin. Reen, knowest thou of what I speak? power to shape reality, to bend the laws of nature, for what was once shattered may be forged anew. That's all well and good, but don't you think we should give it a name first? We're naming it now? Eden. Eden! I kinda- I kinda like it. Utopia and Fae, a most auspicious title. I like that. Now that that's settled, perhaps we should find a spot to set up camp? I even brought a couple of tents on the off chance, but pitching the damn things is something of a fine art. Does anyone fancy helping me? You want me to help you pitch a tent, Thancred? I can do that. I can do that. <laughs> Say less. That is... Spooky. Alright, I'll turn in the quest in just a second. I am going to get um, a different blanket. This one is not as cozy. Oh my god, this music. Kind of obsessed. Okay, give me one second. Sorry for getting up so much. I'm just like, I'm really restless and nothing is pleasing me. Final Fantasy 8? Sick! 
Quarry of Light, Savior of Eorzea, Pitcher of Tents. Exactly. All right. The tents have been pitched. I know we did it. I pitched Thankard's tent. I hope he's proud of me. I've been a good girl. I've never realized that putting tents up could be such a bother. Still, I'm glad that we got there in the end. Thank you should be back from scouting the area soon. Once he's here, we can plan our next move. Sounds good. During the course of your investigations, you may discover valuable artifacts. These can be exchanged for equipment by speaking with Google in Mordsuk or Yal Yal in Yulmore. Neat. Deploy the core. Reen waits anxiously for Thancred to return from surveying the vicinity. I wonder what's taking Thancred so long. Could seem. Ah, there he is. What's up, daddy? Well, that was rather uneventful. Not that I'm complaining. Did you find anything? No, thankfully. There's not but barren plains in every direction. Apart from Eden, of course. I tried approaching it, and the brute didn't even seem to notice me. I thought it was best not to tempt fate, so I withdrew. We should act now, before it's fully awake. Meaning what, exactly? Oh, I have a new dead pixel on my monitor. Oh, no, I didn't. It was just water. Got it. When I think about the flood of lights, I get the feeling that rather than destroying everything in its path, what it actually did was stop the flow of ether. Of course, that meant that all of the plants, animals, and people here could no longer survive. They must have crumbled to dust in the years since. But the ether is still here, lying dormant. If Eden is the one that caused it, maybe you can get it flowing again. The math is mathing? I don't know for certain, but I think I can use Eden to bring life back to the empty. Now hold on a moment. What makes you think that's even possible? And how do you expect to control that kind of power? Reen's aspirations may not be as or preposterous as thou dost surmise. I believe Minfilia halted the flood of light's advance not by destroying Eden, but by silencing it. And in doing so, she hath gifted us an opportunity to pre too precious to waste. Even now, the flame of hope burns on. Aye, as Minfilia's successor, it standeth to reason that Reen doth possess the means to exert her will over Eden. But such a monumental task is not to be taken lightly. What sayest thou, Pepper? Um... I would put... Re I would... It, oh, it! I thought it said I would put her life at risk. Like, hello? I imagine this is easier said than done. Yeah, I imagine this is easier said than done. I have a suburban Yes, you're probably right, but I have to try. Very well, Reen. You've made up your mind. So, how should we go about this? I have an idea. I've been studying it carefully ever since we arrived, and it seems to me that the light is more concentrated at a certain point. I, sus I suppose you could call it the core. That giant towels had a core, too. Like a beating heart, it controlled the flow of ether. If Eden's core is the same, perhaps we could use it to restore the etheric balance? The theory is certainly sound. By employing ethernet shards as beacons, mayhap we could trace the ethereal flow to Eden's core, and in doing so, or in, in so doing, secure the means to teleport to the very heart of the beast. Thankfully, the Settlement Council has kindly furnished us with a plethora of apparatus by which to perform such feats. However, we must needs first have Reen study the Entity's interior and chart us a suitable course. Once we have reached our destination, I shall fabricate a means by which you may directly communicate with Eden, and mayhap exert a measure of control over it. You can really do that, Ariange? All credit is due to a dear friend. A gentle soul long since departed, who imparted to me a wealth of knowledge concerning etherology. Moonbreeder! 
Although I'm certain she would be all too quick to chastise my methodology. Excuse me for interrupting this trip down memory lane, but I don't imagine that Eden will be too happy about us rummaging around in its innards, for want of a better term! I hate it. I actually hate this. In all seriousness, though, I wouldn't be surprised if there is some sort of welcoming party arranged for intruders. Perhaps you had best lead the way, Pepper? It's true that she's the only one who can defeat a Light Warden, but I'd rather not rely on her any more than we have to. Yes, I haven't forgotten what happened when she absorbed too much light, but as Alize said, making promises you have no way of keeping is not a kindness. Now, I wish I could put down Wardens myself, but the simple fact is I can't, and there's no point pretending I can. That's why I'm asking Pepper. Then perhaps I could- You already have a job to do, remember? The only reason this plan even has a chance of success is because of your involvement. We need you to concentrate on the task at hand and guide us to the core. Not only that, you'll have to keep an eye on Eden itself. If we somehow manage to make it angry, get us out of there. Are you sure you want to go through with this? This is what I do best. For lack of any better plans, this one will have to do. Yeah, for lack of any better plans. I won't let you down. Though we will remain here, Rhea and I shall do our utmost to guide thee along the ethereal stream. After thou hast breached the exterior, we shall remain in contact via these link pearls, courtesy of our comrades in the Crystarium. Being relics salvaged from the Crystal Tower, I fear they may be somewhat less reliable than those to which thou art accustomed. Nice! Neat! I choose to sacrifice Reen, the child. Look. I don't want to sacrifice her. I actually like her. Alright. Are we going to go rummage through its innards now? Wait. How do I even get back here? Through Amarang? Oh, bro. I have to actually take a ship here? Do I do it? Do we do it, chat? Are you calling Stormblood boring? Wait, Elise isn't even in Stormblood. Storm She's in Heaven's Ward. God, Claire. All right, who's joining me? Who is accompanying me? Who is being my friend? Who is being nice? Yeah, Lisa Stormblood. Yeah. This is baby. This is Reen. Oh, wait, no. Elise. Elise is Tarbin Low. Blurry B is accusing Elise of being in of being in Stormblood. By the time you log on, I'll be full. I doubt it. All this expansion is the same to me. I'm not even out of a Realm Reborn yet. True. Well, you're in post a Realm Reborn now. You got there. All right. Who coming? Oh, Sarnix. Sarnix coming. Is Stacy on? No, Stacy's in a party. Traded. I'm so of meat and potatoes. Oh, potatoes. I want potatoes. Who's Lucy? Lucy, who's that? Oh, Kenley, you want to join? But wait, fuck. Lucy is me. Hi, me. I still need to clear out my friends list. There are so many people that I'm just like, who? So I have a list on my phone and I'm actually gonna remake it one of these days. And so y'all, if you've ever added me in game, you better be in the Discord server so like I can like do some mathematics. 
Um, because I have a note here called Final Fantasy Friends that has all the names of my friends and their in-game name. Because some of y'all have names that are so unrelated to who you are that I'm just like, who is this? 297 out of 300? What do you mean out of 300? How how come I could only have 200 friends? You're cap right now, Ray? God damn. Okay, so this is an eight man raid apparently, so I guess I can invite five more people? I don't know who to invite? They're coming to Crystal? Okay. I need to be on your server to add you? I don't know. <laughs> no, Nissan, I won't I won't uh I won't remove you. Yeehaw if needed. What's her name in game? Is it just Ponto? I don't remember. <laughs> Are you pastry bun? No, Ponto. Well, you're not even I gotta wait for you to come over. How do I edit my name and pronouns on the server? You can actually go to Spellbook. If you go to Spellbook in the server, we have a bunch of roles that you can choose from. And you can pick your pronouns here. Unfortunately, we only have he, she, they. I want to add some more, so I'll do that later. Um, and then you can also pick your class so you can get a cool color. Um, if you want to change your nickname, though, you either have to... Um, boost the server or you can ask a mod to just change your name what dc are you on i'm a crystal goblin i used to have koopo bot on the server but i think i got rid of it Hey chat. Look at my face. Oh my god. Sorry. That was fun for me. <laughs> All right. I'm assuming I'm inviting you. All right, who else? Am I waiting for Ray? Is Ray hopping on? I'm making progress. I believe in you, Pars. I see her on land. I believe. I believe, I believe, I believe, I believe, I believe. Okay, we have room for two more people. I don't know who to add. <laughs> I don't I don't know who wants to who wants to join, so y'all just gotta tell me. Sai, I pinged you in Discord? I'm scared. Did you change Jin's name to Shipboy? Alright, Zeus. Is it pronounced Suzerain? Three minutes of queue, either way, I still want to add you if that's okay. Yeah, of course. Of course. Wait, Ken, what's your in-game name? No, not Sparks. Oh, you're literally just- Do I have you added?
Probably wasn't the line when you loaded it. Oh yeah, probably. I probably have to refresh it. Alright, we got a full party now. Kelsey, you're gonna be okay? Um, are y'all okay with me tanking? I'm so goofy, chat. Don't fucking kill me. I had the event chat open, so I couldn't see my party chat. I'm only now seeing everything y'all are saying. All right. Comic Geek, how you doing? How are you? All right, are we good? Is that... <laughs> Is this right? <laughs> Who's healing? Oh no, ew, Sarnix is DPSing? He's just gonna flex the whole time. <laughs> No, I'm looking at party chat. Didn't you call it cum chat? The comers? No, Jin is not in my DMs, but he's about to be. All right, are we good now? Yeah? Okay, I'm gonna try queuing. Oh, I still have to do- Wait, did I do this? Oh, I still have to do this one! The- the royal city of Rabanastra or whatever. I gotta do that at some point. I can flex on- on all y'all on any job? True, and it's sickening. Rabanastra. Rabanastra. Oh, I don't, is my portrait even, like, what it should be? This is what it looks like on the inside? Be careful! Huge amounts of ether! I mean, be careful! Huge amounts of ether are rushing to the cork! Wait, what's that? Wait, what is that? Oh, it's throbbing! Keeper of knowledge, Eden Prime. There we go. No! Come back. What do you mean battle commencing? You want to wait? You think I'm going to wait? I do with that. Ow! Ow! Very rude. I did not appreciate that. What? Hello? 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 Thank you. Thanks, game. What is happening here? What is happening? Oh, no, thank you. 
No, thank you. I want no part of that. Oh, God. Okay, no, I'm fine. Other dimensional shift. Oh. Oh. Ow. 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 Nope, my bad, my bad, my bad. Didn't mean to do that. Hello? Oh. Interesting. Oh! Oh, God. <gasps> no! No, get away! Get away, that's so mean! No! I'm just a silly little guy! I'm just a silly little guy! Flashbangs! Enough! Enough! Oh. Oh, nor. Nor, 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 nor. Nor, thank you. Oi! Does it matter which one we target? Either? One tank, each tank gets their own? Oh, no, everyone's on that one. Well, you know what? I'm gonna stay over here. Hello? Oh? Oh? What is happening? What's going on? What is this? What is happening? Oh! Mmm! Oh? I am ascending? Hello? What? What? What is going on? What in the NASA? Hello? I guess. Alright, and this just like is like a beam, right? Yeah, so just stay out of don't be near me, I guess? Yeah. Oi. Oi. nuts look at those balls got two fucking family jewels over there god damn eating is packing bum ba -da. we did it we did it we did it! Oh? What's the loot? Do I- Oh! Can I just- Can I just- Should I just- I mean- I mean- Oh, these are- Those are terrible rolls! <laughs> but that's alright! Oh my god, a head pat! I just said it's like you giving me a head pass. Thank you, babes! Thank you! I appreciate it! I pre appreciate it. Are we all just waiting? Is no one going to pass? Were they even worth? Were they even worth anything? No, it's not worth it. Should I just go? I'm gonna fucking go. I don't care.
Alrighty. Thank you, babes. Alright, what's up, Rain? It seems that Thancred's prediction about there being some sort of guardian was right. Thankfully, it was nothing you couldn't handle. And I'm glad to say that you haven't absorbed any light either. So far, so good. Now that the way is clear, the Ethernet shards can send us to the core and back whenever we need. Why don't we give them a try? I like how this bitch really said, Oh yeah, that was easy for you. Whatever. All vibes. Meanwhile, NASA fucking obliterated me and sent me into space, into the Milky Way, and straight into a gla like a black hole? Girl, like, what do you mean by that? Oh, was I supposed to do that? I was. Who the fuck is this? Oh, it's somebody else doing the quest. <laughs> My bad. There's a cutscene here? Once Uriange has deactivated has activated the device, it's my turn. I will take any of these. 420, blaze it. Oh, I was supposed to be doing the MSQ. My bad. <laughs> The time hath come, Reen. Watch over me, Minfilia. Is this supposed to happen? Eden is offering considerable resistance. Not now. Not when I'm so close. Not saying that ever again. <gasps> Uriage! He fell on his butt. Are you alright? I am unharmed, but what of Reen? No, you listen to me. Yes! Oh, is she doing the thing? Woo! Is she doing it? Rain, be careful! Oh. Oh, it's rumbling. It's grumbling. It's tumbling. Oh, loud. It's awakening. It's flying. It's rising. Oh, my God. Mommy? Oh, no. Daddy? Vady? Parental figure? Eden? Oi! Where you going? I'm in you! It looks very happy to see me. They look very happy to see me. Hi, Psycho Hunter. Thank you for the videos. I hope you're doing well. I hope you're feeling a lot better. Rain appears to have recovered from her battle of wills with Eden. Got that cloak, a walk -o lock walk over there. It worked. I'm in control now, I think. Oh, shit. Although I'm not linked to Eden, I still need to figure out how to give it commands. Pray tell, what caused it to convulse so violently? It must have been when Eden rose into the air. I'm still struggling to stop it from drifting too far from the camp. Even now, thou art... Our nor... That can't be a good sign. Reen, what's going on? Uh, above us! Something's coming this way! An enemy! But how dost thou... Uh, could it be a Sin Eater? Oh, book. I can't see them clearly, but no, that's impossible. What is it? They're inside, too. Lots of them, trying to reach the core. Uninvited guests, eh? If I'd known they were coming, I would have tidied the place up. <laughs> Japes are a poor substitute for a viable stratagem. In that case, it's just that you and I deal with the ones who are already inside. And Pepper can welcome our airborne adversary. Adversary. Reen, find out if Eden has any defenses we can make use of. Preferably ones that don't recognize us as the enemy. I'm not sure about that, but I can use the ether currents to send you wherever you need to go. 
That's my girl. Oh! When? 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 When, God, when will you give me a white-haired person that calls me their girl? When? Just give me somebody with white hair. Please. I ask for just one thing in this life. Oh, my ears. There we go. Give me 20 years, so bet. Oh, that's my girl. All right, everyone, we've got work to do. I am so into Daddy Thancred, I gotta be honest. From what I can tell, Eden is able to form simple structures by redirecting ether. So I'll try to give you something to stand on. When you're ready, head for that portal over there. Cool it vibes. Ba -da -da -da. Eden's Gate Descent? There is another one? Madeline is, fun, is fond of calling you an old boy slash girl. Yeah, we know what he can suck my butt. Did I just do resurrection? I'm a, I'm assuming. I'm assuming everyone here is joining me for this too, right? Three sets of four. There's another eleven. There's twelve. Well, well, how many of these am I going to do, chat? <laughs> how many of these do y'all intend for me to do? There's always 12, except when they're 13. Girl. Girl. All of them? Well, is this what we're doing all stream then? Antithesis manifest? Wait! Yo! Wait! That's sick! Wait! Oh, I'm so zoomed in. Hey, are y'all ready? Um, excuse me, someone remind me to fix my- Ah! My thing! Can someone remind me to fix my portrait? Oh, I don't like that. Oh, oh lord. Oh, crikey. Oh, uh, are these ads? What are these? Oh, they just kind of fly away. I guess I just moved out the way then for them. those two. What's happening here? Oh, big explosion? Oh, it's doing it again. Do we have to stay stuck? They still have the marker on their head. A bigger explosion? Do you have to share it? I don't know. This is so interesting. This is so neat. Oh, by the way, Chad, how's the how's the volume? Is the game too loud? Let me know if you want me to make any adjustments.
why we have to go this way? Is it gonna push us over or something? That's a big hand! Bleeding now. Do I stay on this? What do I? I don't know. I don't know what to do. I keep forgetting to use that ability. I know it's up there, but I'm always like, hmm. That's my own fucking ability. I was like, what is that? How do I dodge that? Ah, wrong ability. That's fine. No, nope, wrong ability again. Don't look at me. Oh, uh, where's that eye? Do I have to look away? Oh, I did have to look away. Last second. That's interesting. Normally I see those on like the enemy is not on a teammate. That's really cool. again neat I did not do all three near raids only did one Audio is good? Okay, per. Ba dum bum ba dum. Oh, I did the thing, vibes. Quickly, Sarnix or Ponto? Ponto. Are these all also ducky? Oh, I'll take this one though. Give me that. Give me that. Give me that. Funky. What did I do? I don't know. I thought it was a good thing. That's why I picked you. Pepper, thank goodness you're unharmed. Yeah, I soloed it. All me. We came as soon as we took care of our unwanted guests. They were a stubborn bunch and quite unlike anything I've ever seen in the first. No. I won't let you. Damn the light. Damn you all. Who are you? What do you want? I... Ugh. Oh no, my head. Why am I here? What is happening? Did they just die? She's alive. Ooh! But there's something strange about her ether. She didn't seem too pleased with renting control of Eden, which may be what caused her to appear out of the blue. Beyond that, it's anyone's guess. It's plain she is not a sin eater. Not even in, not even in part as Vothri was. Yet this knowledge does little to assuage, assuage, assuage. I know that word, but I can't say it. My fears, 
for she is nonetheless possessed of a power most terrible. Take off the helmet. On the other hand, if she's feeling cooperative, she might be able to tell us more about Eden. I'll keep an eye on her until she wakes up. I swear to God, chat, if you're smiling right now... Okay, you're not. All right. There's no telling what will happen when she does, but I'll make it clear that we mean no her we mean her no harm. Well, no further harm at the very least. Where's the back of my neck? Thank her, can you please carry me like that? Obviously, it's not a good idea to bring her inside, Eden. It's likely that reaching it's likely that reaching the core was her aim from the outset. Oh, I missed the last part. That's fine though. He's so strong. Carrying that lady in a full suit of armor. Now that things have settled down, I should get back inside and try strengthening my link to Eden. That has to be at least 200 pounds? I know. All right. I don't know, I don't know why my portrait isn't working. What if I just like zoomed it in a bit more? Is it gonna work now? Although I had my hands full trying to control Eden, I caught a glimpse of your battle. That power. I've never seen anything like it. What thou witnessed was a tearing of the very fabric of reality, the creation of a rift through which Void Scent may enter. But pray tell, Rain, didst thou make any other observations? Hmm. I couldn't sense any light at all in that girl or her servants. I can't really explain how. Was she reminding me of Emmett Selk? What? Is she an Asian? I think it's unlikely that she's an Asian. She may yet be th thrall to Zodiac. Maybe we'll be able to find out more once she's woken up. In the meantime, I'll try to improve my control over Eden. It seems to be listening more than before, instead of screaming at me like it was in the beginning. And that's not all. I've made an exciting discovery. Oh. Right, though. Now, 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 now. Nor any drop to drink. Rian's newly formed bond with Eden's core has led to a surprising discovery. What? I feel a lot more confident in my ability to control Eden now. Of, co of course, this is only the beginning. And we shall accompany thee where wheresoever this path may lead. But pray tell, what manner of discovery hast thou made? I understand how Eden's power works, and therefore the true nature of the Flood of Light? Yes, it affected the balance of all of the ether in the empty, shifting it so f so far towards the umbral that it stopped flowing altogether. The power to tip the scales. And to tip them back again. That's what Eden does. It controls the balance of ether over a wide area, forcing it from one alignment to the other. Left alone, it still poses a threat. But if I can harness its power, I think I could use it to breathe life back into the empty. Hello? The trouble is, I haven't the foggiest idea of where to start. If I go about this the wrong way, I'll do more harm than good. Thou needs not bear this burden alone, Reen. Nor should thou. There's no simple matter of awakening that which lies dormant. All things in nature are inextricably linked. The elements maintain a fragile harmony. Without which, life cannot prosper. So, what should we do? A solution hath begun to take shape in my mind, though it will require further discussion. For the time being, let us return to camp. It would be remiss of us not to involve Thancred. So true, bestie. This is actually really interesting. This is a really neat side, like, quest kind of thing. So who's the gal? Who's the gal? Sorry. My friends, I believe I have struck upon a method by which we may see this world restored. 
Oriange, before you go any further, allow me to take a potentially very long story slightly shorter. Oh, to make potentially love very long story slightly shorter. The plan is to control Eden and realign the ether of the empty, right? In essence, yes. However, unleashing elemental energies haphazardly will not suffice. In addition, the empty is unfathomably vast. Were we only able to effect change over one small region at a time, it would take many lifetimes to complete even a fraction of our task. Instead, our energies would be better spent revitalizing each element in order that we might set in motion a more widespread transformation. One at a time. I hate to say it, but I don't think Eden will be able to draw, to, to draw out a single element without affecting the others. For that very reason, we shall select a location in which the ambient ether we wish to restore is at its most potent. Even in a dormant state, certain elements will be more pre prevalent and therefore more easily manipulated. Then we rebalance the ether and return it to the land, whereupon it shall be borne on ethereal currents to the farthest reaches of the empty. Well, what's to prevent that element from breaking free of Eden's hold and causing a disaster of some sort? It must needs be contained. The question is, how? Pepper, indulge me a moment if thou wouldst. Pray imagine a corporeal manifestation of each of the individual elements. What dost thou see in thy mind's eye? Moogles? Mayhap thou art afeard to utter the fateful word, for to even speak the name primal is to invite misfortune. Mm. Though invite it, we must. Mm. As the ether is drawn forth and realigned by Eden, we shall perform a summoning as Master Louis Swa once did on the fields of Cartano. As one who hath laid low countless primals, thy memories will shape the ether into a de deform, like deity, deform entity, which must subsequently be dispersed in the traditional fashion. So defeat it, in other words. So summon it, then kill it? But is that even possible? Don't look at me, I don't fucking know. Can I break my fast on primals? It's either that or being torn to shreds. To be honest, I'm not entirely sure I can. Yeah, it's either that or being torn to shreds, baby. Lest thou forget, twill be no more than an approximation of a foe thou hast previously bested. I have every confidence in thy abilities, Pepper. Thank you. Someone has to. <laughs> As do I, though it might help to... It might help to have some idea of what you'll be up against. Have you decided what element to tackle first? Why are you looking at me? I propose water, the source of all life. As for the location, an area to the west of Norvrant was once home to the world's deepest ocean. Alas, the flood of light reduced it to a yawning chasm. Water. Yes, that seems like a good choice. I'll see if Eden can take us where we need to go. And I shall prepare for the summoning. Thancred, wouldst thou watch over our enigmatic antagonist? She may have vital information to impart. In the event that she becometh agitated, thou mayest have need to restrain her. Someone's got to do it, I suppose. I'll be praying for your success while I wait here, twiddling my thumbs. <laughs> my headcanon my head for that is you're in time warp when you do a Realm of Born content. Wait, what? Wait, what are y'all talking about? Still, I must say I don't envy you being caught up in yet another one of Urianger's madcap schemes. Though, come to think of it, if the creature you must fight is born from your own memories and imagination, why don't you try thinking of something a bit tamer than the primals you fought in the past? Hmm, perhaps that's not how it works. <laughs> anyway, best of luck. Thanks, bud. Alright. Do y'all want me to continue doing this? Do you want me to just finish as much of this as I can and then get back to MSQ or something? I feel like this is just gonna be the whole stream. Yes? Alright. Eden seems to be responding well to my instructions, so we should reach our destination in no time at all. Hmm. Alright, it is the place. I'll see if I can draw out the water aspected ether. The rest is up to you, Pepper. 
thankfully I'll be live tomorrow, so I'll be able to do more questing. M memories of Leviathan come flooding back. I fucking knew it! I was thinking! I was thinking of that! I just did Leviathan um, Extreme like three times the other night. Or whatever the fuck it was. War leader, whatever the hell. Uh, this one? I'm assuming we're all ready. I love none of this is really supposed because I have no fucking clue what's going on. That's true, and by the time you start playing, Grandma, you're not even gonna fucking remember any of this. You're not even gonna remember any of the stuff you're consuming right now. Oh, this music? Does it have two heads? I'm sorry. It has two heads! Girl... The one I fought had one. Alright, is my portrait gonna work this time? Yeah! Hangy portrait! Oh, my thumb is hurting. Oh, my tank stands! I'm so sorry, thank you! I've been doing MSQ... I've been doing MSQ content for so long that, like, I keep forgetting that I have to turn it back on. <laughs> It doesn't really matter where I stand. I don't know. Oh, no. Take this. Where do I take this? Oh, okay. Oh, I'm gonna use that ability. Shit. Hello. Why is everyone suddenly moving over here? Oh, I see. You. I'll use Eden's power. Oh? To what? Restore the fucking platform? Oh, crikey. I get knocked off the platform. Wait, right, the whole platform got restored. Oh. Oh, where do I go with this? Where do I go with that? Where do I go with that? I don't know where I go with that! I guess everyone can just come into the center of it. Oh, 
Wait, oh no, I didn't have it up. Oi! Oi! Huh? What? They're watching out for geysers? What's going on? Hello? Hello? I may have done an oopsie. Oh no, 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 no! you could say I deserved it it is what it is all right let's turn it in babes let's turn that shit in That was incredible. Is that what a primal looks like? Oh, not quite the same then. But why is that? The, Le the Leviathan of the Source was summoned by the Sh Sahagin. Was it that? the Sahagin or whatever? To whom he was no less than a god. Without their faith, the, the day of formentity that we brought into existence differed on a fundamental level. Though it was no less formidable. Interesting! The manifestation relied upon Pepper's experience of Leviathan and may have been influenced by recollections of other water aspected beings, uh, leading to further discrepancies. Ooh! Memories brought to life. This is kind of fucking neat. But I still can't tell if our plan actually worked. How goes it? You finished slaying your primal or whatever it is. If you finish slaying your, if you finish slaying your primal or whatever it is, it's just to get back here in the double. There's something you ought to see. Something I ought to see. Hmm, what could that be? Evidently, our only recourse is to return to our base of operations forthwith. Boom. Chat, should I have juice or pop? What should I have? Is it gonna bump me into a cutscene immediately? It, uh -huh. I hear water. I hear gushing. Wait, did it work? Pepper, look! I'm looking. What am I looking at? Water! A goo! Hell yeah! I 
the twelve's good grace. Tis a marvel to behold. I never thought that a whole lake would appear suddenly like that. And we're just getting started. I only hope the burden is not too much for you, Pepper. Oh no, it's fine. I'm alright, babes. Don't worry about me. This is really neat. This is really cool. The game said H2O, baby. You too thirsty. All right. What what did we decide on? Did we decide on pop or did we decide on juice? Okay, Orshava, why are you always so shy? Can you please turn around? Can you can you stay facing this way, babes? Thanks. How about water? I don't want any more water. I had a lot of water today. I'm gonna piss too much. Catboy cummies? All right, Jin, where you at? Come on. Juice? All right, I'll grab some juicy. We'll get some juice, babes. Only because pop might make you more restless, but what if I want to be restless? Sorry, I am unfortunately looking at gifts of Pedro Pascal. He's so hot. He's so fucking hot. Pedro Pascal is so fucking sexy. He? He is so fine. I'm so sorry. My entire likes, I'm not even kidding, is mostly just him now on, on Twitter. Look at him. Look at him! Look at him! Look at him! Look at him! Chat, are you looking at him? That's my slutty daddy. That is my slutty daddy. Look at him. I may not have an actual father figure, but at least I have Pedro Pascal. I never had a dad growing up, but now I have Pedro, so I guess like everything is okay. Like, he is just so... He's just so... My screen is all fingerprinty. You know? You ever look at a man and you're just like, wow. Wowzas. Just wowie zowie. Oh, to be that bottle. He could slurp me up any day. Glug glug. Glug glug baby, glug glug. I am your cool slutty daddy. I am your cool slutty daddy. Like, excuse cool me? Slutty. 2023 has peaked. It cannot get any better. I refuse to believe that more good can come out of this year. I have a slutty daddy. I've peaked. I've peaked. 2023 has peaked. Hey, hey, hello, hello, I love you. I'm just gonna sit here and say I love you and say hi and slay and yas. Hello? All right, okay, let me go get, let me go get um my juice because I'm thirsting a little too much. <laughs> and yas. Like, I love him.
I can't open my juice. Chat, I can't open my juice. <laughs> Give I open. Can you open my juice? This is why I have arthritis. <laughs> I can't do it. I, oh, it's hurting. Okay, chat. I can't, I can't, I can't have my juice. I can't have my juice. Everything is cyberproof. I know. I can't. Oh, it's hurting. I can't even turn it anymore. It hurts. <laughs> On the tap under warm water? Okay, mommy. Okay, wait, can I open this though? Can I open this juice? Got this one! So strong, yeah. I'm so strong. I'm so strong. Boom, bam, boom, bam, boom. Is that a baby? Is that a baby? There's a baby. No, it's apple juice. This is my favorite apple juice. Cheers vibes. Or peach cocktail. Cheers vibes. Okay. I was gonna say how you could have opened the other one, but never mind you got that one. No, I mean it's it's not even worth it. I am very, very weak and I have arthritis, so like I should have given up <laughs> from the get-go. It's alright. As long as I got some juice, then I'm happy. Oh, oh my, ooh, ooh wee, ooh. Chat. This man, the man that this man is. This man, the things, the things, the things, oh, the things. I had the hots for him when he was Oberyn in Game of Thrones. I remember like the, like, um, 
I remember when my mom and I first saw them, we were like, oh my god, they look brown and Middle Eastern, our people. And I was like, Oberyn? Oberyn? And honestly, without giving context, I would do that, but with my thighs instead. If you know, you know. I won't spoil it for anyone who hasn't seen Game of Thrones, but... Look, I'm just saying. I said... What we were all thinking. You telling me? You telling me? You wouldn't have wanted to be the legs instead of the hands and it be your legs? Come on, Jeff. I don't know what Pedro's sex sexuality is, um, but he is so fruity and I love it for him. <sighs> no, I don't want to go to horny jail. Thank you for not bonking me though, chat. from I talked about Pedro for one second and I got wet bro of course I sniffed it I don't know what the fuck that is I think it's just Wouda I know I got too excited for Pedro bro we're gonna worry on I how am I supposed to go back to this fucking game now <laughs> how am i supposed to play this game when all i can think of, of is squ <laughs> when all i can think of is squeezing him with my thighs like yeah i think that's from when i ran the jug under the under the water is what yeah that's what i meant Wait, chat, did y'all not know what I meant when I said that? Am I allowed to show that scene on stream or is it too gory for Twitch? I would say too gory. Yeah, it feels like it's too gory, but like, I mean, we play, we play shooter video games. Isn't that ironic? We can play shooter games on here, but like, I can't show a head going kapoo. These and assists, but it's a scene! Well, I'll post it in the Discord server. How about that? For those of you who don't know what I'm talking about, I'm putting it in the Discord server. <laughs> That's true. That's true. I'm more scared about HBO, actually. All right. <laughs> so for those who don't know what I'm talking about or what I'm referencing, I put it in a uh, general chat in my Discord server. So, uh, Merry Christmas. Alright. I'll get back to my game while y'all let it process. 
Reen and Urianger are considering the next step in the plan to reclaim the empty. Let me guess. Titan? I think this proves that the water aspected ether is no longer lying dormant. So, which element should we realign next, Urianger? I don't really want to watch it again, but thanks, you're welcome. What's the Discord? Can someone bump Discord in the chat, please? I propose Earth. Should we succeed in returning the soil's life giving energy? The empty shell become capable of supporting the growth of flora. Imagine that! Forest in the empty. Before we begin, I'd like to know how that girl is doing. Still sound asleep. She didn't so much as stir even when I took her helmet off. I thought I might be getting a bit stuffy in there, and I was curious to know what sort of person we're dealing with. She seems surprisingly normal, not at all like your usual void scent. I'd say she's around the same age as you, Reen. Perhaps a little older. Oh? Another baby? Well, whoever she is, we should let her rest until we while well, we concentrate on the task at hand. As much as I'd love to go with you, I'd best stay here in case she wakes up and is feeling less than cooperative. And while I wait here wishing that I had something to read, my thoughts will be with you as you fly off to face the next opponent. It must be a strange feeling to bring something into existence through your own willpower, only to slay it immediately after. I almost feel sorry for the poor things. All the same, I wish you luck. Even more upsetting than that scene was a random headline that spoiled it for me the same night the episode aired. Oh no! See, I got very lucky with Game of Thrones because I binged it in a week, two months before the new season came out. So me and my mom, this is when I didn't have Walden, I was living at home. What we did was we would wake up, turn on the show. So, so how it happened was I started watching the series. And at first, my mom was like, oh, it's too gory. Oh, there's so much sex. And then she started sitting in the room with me and watching and, being, and asking me questions. So I was like, all right, my mom's into this. Then my uncle was the next one. He heard all the... My, my family loves fantasy. And they love, like, combat and shit like that. Sci-fi fantasy, like, knights and, and dragons and stuff. So then my uncle came. And he was like, because my uncle lives with them. He was like, what's this? Is that Game of Thrones? And I was like, yeah. And then for season two, he joined in as well. Uh, season two or season three. And how it went down was, in one day, my mom and I finished all of season one. And then we were like, fuck. It's 2 a.m. <laughs> and the next day, we started season two. Same thing. Finished all of it. The next day, season three. It got to the point where every day, my mom and I would wake up to start a new season. We'd wake up to start a new season, and we would only take a break at, like, episode, like, four or, like, three to, like, make food and come back to the living room to watch it. <laughs> it was so good. Wake, by the way, thank you for the three-month reset. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Yeah, it's fun. I'm very grateful for my family. They, um... They're the reason why I'm into all the things that I'm into. You know, like TV shows and movies. They're, uh, they're good people. Yeah, my mom's the goat. <laughs> if all goes well, we, he won't be waiting for long. The sooner we get this over with, the sooner we can see the results. Nice. All right, let's go summon Titan. Na -na 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 -na. You know what I like about this? This is fast. I'm not here, like, waiting, like, a thousand years just to do a few quests. It's like, this is what we gotta do. Boom, do it. Come back. All right, this is the next step. Boom, do it. All right, next step. Boom, do it. All right, next step. Boom, you know? At least I hope it's still like that. Now, before we embark on our journey, there's one question I feel I should ask. Where are we going? I was just a certain region that lieth east of, east of Norvrant, which was once home to the great Mount Atlas. And for the Earth expected primal we wish to invoke, what could be more what could be a more fitting choice than Titan? I don't think I've heard of that one. What's it like? He is worshipped by the kobolds. The landslides, the landslides. Yeah, he's worshipped by the rest of the I can mention those. They are world equivalent of the Mord, yes? <laughs> but if our last battle is anything to go by. This one will be different from the Titan that Pepper remembers. Yes? Aye. It would be wise to consider the two as entirely separate beings. 
As such, thou must needs conceive new stratagems if thou art to triumph in the battle to come. Past experience will avail thee not, I fear. Alright, Pepper. Once you're ready, we'll be on our way. Alrighty, babes. It took a while, but we finally arrived. Nice. Ready, Pepper? Mm -hmm. I believe I'm ready, babes. Memories of Titan come tumbling back. sister watch it at the end of every episode she would scream try next episode i hate this <laughs> me and my dad used to watch tv too all the time when i lived at home yeah i honestly miss that i miss watching tv with my folks our new thing now is uh the last of us so now every sunday they're gonna be coming over around 8 30 just so we can watch the, the last of us series together so when i was i don't remember how old i was 10 years ago 15 16 15 16 um my uncle gifted me um the last of us ps3 bundle i think Actually, i don't remember if it was a bundle or if they were separate but i i'm i'm pretty sure it was a bundle and so or no was the ps4 that was the bundle either way he gifted me a ps3 my very first ps3 and the last of us and that was my in reintroduction to gaming. I used to game all the time when I was a kid. I played a lot of, um, played a lot of Pokemon. I played a lot of Zelda. I played a lot of Harvest Moon. I played a lot of Nintendo games mostly. And some PlayStation games as well. I played Crash Bandicoot. I played Tekken. I played Tomb Raider, whatever. Um, Sarnix and Ponto, did you both die? And, I like to do, um, min item level. What, wait, what does that mean? I think both had a bundle. Okay, then I definitely got both then because I do remember getting them like at the same time. It's what a mini on min item level is an experience. I'm just, do I have to go toggle that in the settings? Cause if I do, no, I'm not doing that. We're just gonna, no, we're just gonna go in. I don't want no fucking experience. I want to get these done. <laughs> um, and yeah, so I started playing The Last of Us. And even though I had other PS3 games, The Last of Us was the only game I played. I played it repeatedly. Every time I finished it, I'd replay it. I'd replay it. I'd replay it. I'd replay it. I kept doing the harder difficulties and I learned how to speed run it. Not with glitches, but just like getting through it really fucking quick. I could finish it in one day. And I would play it with my uncle and he, and he would watch it with me and, and it was just like this whole fucking experience together and it was so good. So it's really, and my mom, she was never a part of it. She just let us do our thing. Like, oh, you two gamers. And so we would be up until the ass crack of dawn just fucking playing The Last of Us. And so it's really cool coming back like 10 years later, sitting on my couch and watching The Last of Us series with my uncle and us both going like, oh my God. Oh my god, the thing! Oh my god! They changed that! Or they didn't change that! Or what? It's... It's... It's neat. We're ready? Yes, I know. I was talking! Y'all are so impatient! The streamer is talking! God, Sarnix! Relax. I never got to play The Last of Us. I missed out. Nah, nah, nah. You can play it on PC. It's coming out soon, I think. It's not too late to play the game. What the fuck? Yo! What the hell? It's like Optimus Prime and Ultron had a baby. Or not Ultron, uh, Thanos had a baby.
Oh, wait, that's not what I wanted. Thank you. Wait, no, you're not gonna move? Okay. Oh, you're doing an ability. You're not gonna come? Interesting. Do I have to hide behind that? Do we hide behind these? Do I hide behind this one? That one gonna break? Is that why it's glowing? Yeah. Oh, we're gonna stay behind it? No, okay, I'm good. Oh, okay, cool. Love that for me. Massive landslide. Oh, 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 no, no, no. No thanks, Busty. Can I turn him around? Okay. Oh, I'm so close to the edge. Sorry. I I'm so sorry. I don't want to come off the edge. <laughs> I'm really close to the edge. And knowing me, I will fall off. Oh, what is this? What is- oh. What is this? Where do I- oh god. Oh, it explodes. Interesting. See, that feels like it's gonna push me off the edge. Is he just stomping on me like I'm an ant? Guard. Oh, wrong ability. Not fine though. So it's gonna make that one big. So do we stay away from it? Oh, we stay away from- Oh, I see! Oh god. Oh god. Um. Okay. No, wait, no. Oh wait, yeah, okay.
god, oh god, oh god. Pepperoni, pepperoni, then bam ba dum. Nice. We did the thing vibes. This is your first Titan Monster Truck rally. Oh my god, I forgot about Monster Truck. Oh, or Monster Trucks or whatever the fuck. I got the minion, babes! Let's go! Lulu's ears, thank you! Captain Mel, thank you for gifting us some to Owliewood! I appreciate it! Mel, how you doing? What's up? What's up, babes? Did I get any other cards? I don't think I did. Wait, I didn't get the music though. That's fine. Wait, is it Eden complete? Welcome back! You must be exhausted. For a creature made of rock, he was a lot more agile than I, ex I was expecting. I wonder, was the Titan of your world a tough component too? <laughs> he never stood a chance against me. Well, have you seen the way you fight? I can believe that. But most importantly, you defeated another elemental being, which means we're a step closer to reclaiming the empty. I can't wait to see how much of a difference we've made this time. Hell yeah. Doing well, how's you tonight? I am okay. I... I'm just vibing. We were doing MSQ, but now I'm doing the Eden raids, I guess? They're a ton of fun. They're super- Oh, it turned orange now, or yellow. This is a lot of fun. This is a really neat um, side quest. And normally I'm not a big fan of some of the side quests in this game, but I am thoroughly into this. Did we really do all of this? Aye, it would appear that it balances or turns the element of Earth, and yet... This transformation hath affected only the immediate vicinity, whereas the lands beyond the lake doth remain unchanged. Tis a passing- tis passing strange, indeed. Did we do something wrong? Does this- does Eden need to, like, traverse around? Though this has fall- this- though this falls short of the outcome I had envisioned, it is plain our efforts were not in vain. Mayhap this localized phenomenon is the result of an intersection of ethereal currents. Therefore, it is reasonable to assume that similar locations in the empty hath undergone- hath undergone comparable alterations. Then the ether will spread out from these points to cover the rest of- Oh shit, is she okay? Oh fuck! Rain! Oh, she gotta go take a nap. Nah, don't tell me it ends like this. Eden, what are you doing to baby Rain? Dolly, thank you for team with Risa! Welcome back, how you doing? The next piece of the puzzle. Is someone give to be a sub? Well, Tank Facts, I hope you enjoy your sub. How many concussions do you think Titan gave us in the source to give his ass an ATV? <laughs> Great question. Should I keep going, chat? Do I keep going? I think I keep going, right? Oh. It's... It's nothing. It didn't look like nothing to me. You'd better lie down for a while. Oh, really? I'm fine. Anyway, we still got work to do. Nay, Thancred hath the right of it. It would be unwise to exert thyself over much. I appreciate your concern, but I do wish you'd stop Yay, stills, what's, what's up, guys? guys? Did someone say train? Thank you for the hundred biddies to satisfy, I appreciate it. No brakes on this train, true. No brakes on the raid train and the hype train. <laughs> true sign point, but the next four are quite as good as well. I want to see what's in the piss rock. And then you keep going much longer. Oh, I might hit an MSQ limit. Okay, that's fine then. 
You know what? If I hit a limit, then I hit a limit. I'll keep going until it makes me stop. How's that? Sound good? <laughs> Dentist! Dentist, thank you so much for the 10 gifted subs. I really appreciate it. Everybody got gifted a sub. Welcome to the comment. I hope you're about your months and your stay. Thank you so much. Ryan, thou knowest not the strain thou dost place on thyself. Though the elements of water and earth hath been restored, continued exposure to the empty stagnant ether may yet sap thee of thy remaining strength. Now that you mention it, I've been feeling a bit out of sorts ever since we got here. I should probably get away from the empty restaurant. What's up, guys? guys? cat. Okay, my chat froze. I don't know who that was. Hachata! 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 Thank you for the 100 videos. I appreciate it. Okay, but the next raid in the series is my all-time favorite because I've done it so many times. Or too many times? Alright, well, I'm excited now. My chat keeps freezing. Okay, now it's not frozen. Okay. I don't know why it does that. I should probably get away from the empty and rest for a while. Oh, it does it when I'm not clicked on OBS. That's really weird. Hold on, let me see if I can fix this. Okay, let's see if I fixed it. I probably didn't, but that's okay. So if it takes me a second to respond to alerts and stuff, it's because, like, it just keeps fucking freezing. Pray do so. Meanwhile, I shall remain here. The restoration of the first two elements have produced unexpected results, and they require time to analyze our findings. Oh yeah, it froze again. Oh, it's- yeah, it's frozen. However, I must ask thee to refrain from discussing our work in the empty, even with our closest comrades. Why? I thought they'd welcome the news. And indeed they shall, once we have more to show for our efforts. Nevertheless, this mission is one of our is one of surpassing danger. I am loath to place our dearest friends at risk unless absolutely necessary. You have their best interests at heart interests at heart, I'm sure. But to be perfectly honest, I prefer not to keep secrets from people that I trust with my life, and I don't want to make a habit of this, but I'll do as you ask. It's nappy time for the baby. <laughs> it seems to me that Reen isn't the only one who would benefit from a change of scenery. Our sleeping beauty will likely fare better in more hospitable surroundings. We'll need to have our associates from Casterium organize a safe place for her to stay. If you and Pepper could go on ahead and have a word with them in more soup, We'll catch up with you once Urianje has finished. Whatever it is he needs to do. <laughs> I wonder who the girl is. Is she someone that I know? Perhaps thou too shouldst accompany her on the return journey. I dare say she would be glad of thy presence. No, not this time. She's come a lot. She's come such a long way since we first met, and I worry that relying on me too much will only hold her back. We won't be staying in the first forever. The time will come for Reed and I to part ways, and for her to follow her own path. Oh, I know you understand this too, Urianje. I see you trying to pass on as much of your knowledge as possible while you still can. And to her credit, she's actually taking most of it in. Reed is possessed of a natural affinity for etherology, unlike some who shall remain unnamed. Natural affinity for staying awake during your lectures, more like. Though, come to think of it, she doesn't really take after me at all. However, like thee, she's pre predisposed to brooding in silence in lieu of voicing her concerns. <laughs> Says the master of keeping his cards close to his chest. Anyway, Pepper, you'd better take the sky slipper with Reen. 
It's true that she's been through a lot lately, but so have you. We'll need you ready for the challenges that lie ahead, so go on and get some rest. We shall await news of thy safe arrival in Amarang. Na -na 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 -na. Alrighty. Sir. Oh. Where am I going? Oh, yes, it's a Crystarium, right? Is this it? No, that's the other one. Next piece of the puzzle. This one? Yes. I believe so. Oh, I don't know why OBS does this. Every time I tab out of OBS, it starts like freezing. And it only does it sometimes. I don't know how to fix it. And so like it even freezes like um wait. Oh, it's unfrozen now. All right. I don't know what I did, but we're good now. <laughs> Never mind. Chat can now commence. Alerts can now commence. We're good. We're chilling. Wait. Was I supposed to stay in the empty? Oh, I'm so girl. I goof. You're level 16? Hell yeah. Slow and steady wins the race. Why is it called the Derek? Who's Derek? Yes, let's go to the empty. All right, hi, Reen. It seemed like you were ha you were. It seemed like you were all having quite a serious discussion. I hope I haven't given you any cause for concern. Uh -uh. Well, if you say so, I probably shouldn't stay in the empty any longer than necessary, though. So, do you want to take first shift piloting, or shall I? Yo, she can drive. I can't even drive in real life. Whew, I'm glad I had you there to keep me company. I have no idea how I would have passed the time otherwise. Now that we're here, I need to find our contact from the Crystarium. Hi? Who's the contact? But before that, I was hoping I could have a word with you. Something on my mind. This might not be the best place for it, though. Those creatures over there look a bit hungry. <laughs> On her mind, what's bothering her? Oh no, not the sad music. Oh no, Minfilia! Minfilia! Is Rain gonna make me cry? When I first spoke to Thancred and Uriange about what I'd sensed in the empty, part of me wished we could have just left it alone. I guess I was scared of what we'd find. But now that we've found Eden, I know that I made the right choice. And if I'd given in to my fear, I probably would have spent the rest of my life wondering what might have been. From now on, whenever I hear that voice inside me telling to run away, to hide, I won't listen. That's not who I am anymore. Oh, Reen! Even so, all the courage in, all the, courage in the world is not enough, is not going to help me decide what we should do with that girl when she wakes up. You remember what she said right before she passed out? Why am I here? What is happening? What if she's being controlled or forced to act against her will? Oh shit. Whatever the case, it's clear that she's not a monster. She's a person, like you or me. Obviously, she knows something about Eden, and we need all the information we can get more than that, I just want to talk to her, to find out who she is and if there's anything we can do to help her. On the other hand, we mustn't forget that she's already attacked us once. What's to say she won't try it again when she wakes up? If she keeps us from reclaiming the, reclaiming the empty, it will be all my fault. It's no good. I can't make up my mind. What do you think we should do, Pepper? Um, if Alfie and I were here, he'd talk things through with her. Even Emmett Selk had his reasons. We should at least hear her out. There's not much we can do until she wakes. I'm gonna go with the Emmett Selk line. Hear her out. Listen to her. See what she's got to say. I see what you mean. Perhaps if we'd been able to come to an understanding, things wouldn't have ended the way they did. Who knows, but you know what? Emmett is stubborn and he can rot. I hope she's nothing like Emmett Selk. But we won't know until we speak to her. 
plot twist, it's Emmett. Until then, I'll try to concentrate on the here and now. Speaking of which, I still need to see Orianger's errands. Or see to them. The people we're on our way to meet lent us a sky slipper and most of the apparatus we've been using. And since we've been sworn to secrecy, I assume the same applies to them and their colleagues. Anyway, once that's over, we can find a place to relax. Hell yeah, baby! Right, we're in more soup! Let's go up here. Femit. Femit! Not Femit! Now that we're here, allow me to introduce you to two members of our inner circle, or whatever you want to call it. Are they kobolds? <laughs> That's Gulgul, who's interested in trading for any relics we find in the empty. Apparently, he mostly deals in exotic weapons and whatnot, but he's agreed to keep us supplied with whatever else we can get from the Crystarium. Now, the ones we came to meet it should be around here somewhere. Then it's our next! Bye-bye! Ah, Rain! What a relief it is to see you returned unharmed from your expedition. Oh, Sun and Ara! I'm sorry to have kept you waiting. We were gone a bit longer than we expected. Pepper, I'd like you to meet Luri. It's a pleasure to make your acquaintance. As representative of the Settlement Council, I am here to oversee the delivery of equipment deemed necessary to your mission. I'll be on hand to provide any assistance you may require. Thank you! Actually, there's something we'd like you to take care of. It's probably best not to talk about it in the middle of the market, though. I'll thank you from here, Pepper. You should get some rest. But before you go, I'd like to thank you for everything you've done. We still have a long road ahead of us, but if we give it our all, there's nothing we can't handle. Thanks, bestie. <laughs> Keep some leftover Sin Eater crummies for me? Got you. I got you, babes. Is it gonna cut me off here, chat? Is this the end of my O? Cutscene? I see. Though it is mere sus su su supposition, supposition, whatever. It would behoove us to proceed with caution. Moreover, I would refrain from discussing the matter with Reen and Pepper until we know more. What? What is with you and your fucking secrets? Well, I appreciate you telling me, even if it is too soon to be sure. I'm the one watching over her, after all. What? What's wrong with the girl? What's going on? The Oracle of Darkness. What? I pray it is not true. Oh my god! Was I right when I said there was another Minfilia? And y'all laughed at me? Oh my god. Wait, who's this? What do you want? <gasps> Away with the fairy. Yelford has arrived in more soup bearing pertinent information. Is that her? The Oracle of Dankness. Amen. Thank you for the team with Risa of Chowder. I appreciate it. Ah, uh, there you are. I'm part of the team helping with the Eid. I mean, highly classified. A very, very secret thing. The fact of the matter is, I've come to inform you of a rather interesting development. It's about the girl who was brought back from the empty. It's finally woken up, you see. And... Yalfort! And Pepper, too! Irene! We heard the news from Thancred. Is it true? Why, yes, it most certainly is. Apparently, her name is Gaia. She claims to be a free citizen of Yulmore, although she remembers nothing of the events leading up to her attack on Eden. She's lost her memory? Parts of it, at the very least. We also cannot be sure whether she's telling the truth or if it's merely a ruse. 
She's yet to display any hostility, which is encouraging, I suppose. And Thancred's with her now, is he? Yes, he's taken her to Yulemore, mainly to verify what she's told us so far. Because the locals, that sort of thing. And after that, the plan is to come back here, though they're taking rather longer than I'd anticipated. I do hope nothing is amiss. Da -na -na -na. The plot thickens! Good grief. Are you always this slow? To them. At this rate, it'll be dark again before we know it. Oh my god. Oh my god! The night sky returning is all well and good, but it does make each day seem awfully short. Are you still dragging your heels back there? At least act as if you got a purpose, would you? She looks just like... What's her fucking name? What's her name? She looks just like... Fucking Kristen... What's her name? Kristen... Kristen something. Yeah, the girl from Breaking Bad and the bitch from Apartment 23, Jessica Jones. Yeah, Kristen Ritter! Yeah! Oh my god. Oh my god. The... The... Uh, this character design? She's so cute! She's so cute! But she literally looks like Kristen Ritter! The pouty plump lips, the, uh, the big eyes with the eye bags. Oh my god. Now look here, I'm not- <laughs> Not the luggage! I'm not one of your servants. Why don't you try carrying your own luggage for a change? Thancred, you're back! You lot are a sight for sore eyes. Yes, even you, Orange. Gaia and I have just finished shipping her personal effects from Yulemore. I'm glad we could finally meet. Properly, I mean. So, uh, did you learn anything useful? Other than where she lives, not an awful lot. Her supposed neighbors barely knew the first thing about her. Hells, she barely knows the first thing about herself. Her recollection of her life in Yulmore is patchy at best. <laughs> she's so grumpy. I love her. But she seems convinced that she'll regain her memory if she accompanies us. And so she invited herself to join our merry band. And, for her first act, she ordered me to carry her luggage. If you insist on standing around talking... Might I suggest finding a place to sit down first? My feet are killing me. I love her. I fucking, I will die for her. Then perhaps you should have chosen more sensible footwear. Still, it's not such a bad idea, shall we? Yeah, girl, maybe wearing stilettos was not the vibe. Literally, she is wearing stilettos in the desert. Girl, this is a you problem. Oh my god, she's so sassy. Wait, I want to talk to her. Wait, I want to talk to her. I want to talk to her. Oh wait, I do have to. Shit, let me talk to her in person. I've got so many questions I want to ask, but I probably shouldn't bombard her with questions. Well, good you my early impression of Gaia, but I would be interested in hearing her opinion. Go on and talk to her and see what you make of her situation. Amnesia. Just troubling, but not entirely unexpected. She's got drip. She does need comfort. Tea. So you don't remember anything at all? Not attacking us? Not falling unconscious? Such selective amnesia would rightly raise suspicion within those of a cautious mind. 
Yet if she doth speak the truth, it would lend credence to any to my current hypothesis, though admitted some further admittedly some further. Not now, Rianche. She's only just woken up. We don't want her to bo we don't want to bore her back to sleep. In any case, I prefer to follow my instincts, and they're telling me that Gaia means us no harm. After much deliberation, I thought it only right to let her know about our work in the empty as a sign of goodwill. After all, trust works both ways. Though, I would ask you, Pepper, not to let your guard down just yet. So you're the one I'm supposed to have fought? Come to think of it, I recognize you from somewhere. <laughs> so you should, considering you tried to kill me. Maybe there's one of those faces. No, Pepper, you're unique. Give her some fucking sass. <laughs> well, if Thancred's version of events is anything to go by, you weren't exactly holding yourself, holding back yourself. Still, it seems I didn't give you much of a choice but to defend yourself, so let's call it even. Not that I have any recollection of it. It's like remembering fragments of a dream only to realize those things actually happened. Her character design is like kind of bothering me. She looks like a small Victorian child. <sighs> it's as though my whole life has been leading to this. Thou speakest as though didst expect these events. I guess you could say that. It's what that fairy it's what the fairy tells me. Fairy? I can't see it, but it's as though there's someone else inside me, and that he can hear its voice in my head. It whispers to me and lets me use its power. Magic, I suppose you could call it, not that I know much of- not that I know much about that sort of thing. Is it like her version of Menphilia? Is it her version of Hydaelyn? Is it Zodiark? And this power alloweth thee to tear open the fabric betwixt realities that thou mayest call forth the ether star of denizens what remaineth of the thirteen? What? Was that supposed to mean something or are you just spouting random words at me? <laughs> Honestly, I don't know how you all put up with this. I've only just met him and his insufferable prattle is already giving me a headache. Gods, I still can't believe I'm having this conversation. And to think that I was flying about in a suit of armor, waving a sword. That doesn't sound like me at all. Someone else inside you. Like Minfilia was inside me. Bam. Aye, the similarities cannot be ignored. Though it is too early to say with certainty, Gaia may well be the Oracle of Darkness. The Oracle of Darkness? What does this mean? It means that you may have been right when you said she has something in common with Emmett Self. Those who have been used as a living host by an Asian have no recollection of events that occurred during their possession. Ah, right! This I know from personal experience. But Gaia seems to have some memory still, even if they're a little hazy. Moreover, she has remained in control of herself even when she heard the voice within, much like you in Minfilia. And though Reen was very much her own person, Minfilia's presence did exert a change upon her outward appearance, granting her hair and eyes a hue akin to that of her dear departed friend. It is therefore not unthinkable that Gaia's raven locks may be a manifestation of the darkness which hath come to reside within her. But I was born like this, and my parents, they both had black hair too. At least I think they did. It's been so long since I saw them, I can't remember too well. But enough about me. You're Minfilia, aren't you? The Oracle of Light, who they were hosting in Yulmore? That's right, though imprisoning is the better word. They kept me locked away, and I didn't know much about Yulmore and its people. Or the rest of the world, for that matter. Let's see. How exactly did the Oracle of Light come to run with the Warrior of Darkness? Well, it all started when... <laughs> Hi, Raven! How are you?
Yes, the storm of the day, everyone went raving mad and Lord Voss refled. Everything after that is still a blur, though. From what Gaius told me, she was a part of the mob that attacked us. But how was she able to resist Vosri's control? May mayhap was the intervention of this fairy for whom she speaketh. Hmm, as far as that may be, we still don't know why she appeared out of nowhere as soon as Eden took flight. Or took fight, or flight. I think it's in flight. This is just a guess, but I'd say that the fairy reacted to it in some way, and for whatever reason, whatever reason, made me go after it. Yes, yeah, so this seems like the only explanation. You getting up? I don't know about you lot, but I've had enough nattering. I'm going back to Eden. What? But why? This girl? The fairy wanted something with, from Eden, and knowing what that is will bring me a step closer to discovering exactly what has been living in my head all these years. Besides, my memories aren't going to restore themselves, and certainly not through idle chit-chat. So I'm going, and that's that. Gaia, wait! Insufferable. Utterly insufferable. And yet we can't well leave her to her own devices. Come on. I I love how Thancred now has two daughters. Iconic. Ayo, hey, Twitch! This is where all the streamers live. Alright, we're gonna wrap up this quest. Actually, okay, it's 1 a.m. for me. Do I wrap up this quest and go to bed, even though I'm not tired? Or do I wrap up this quest and go back to MSQ for a bit? What's the vibe, chat? Thancred is raising a good girl and a brat. Meanwhile, he could have just raised me because I am both of those things. Yes, Mimi's no. No, I don't want sleep. I don't want to sleep. I mean, I am going to be live again tomorrow. So I could sleep. We could do MSQ tomorrow. But I don't want to stop. I don't want to stop. You need to keep your schedule stable. Sleep is best if you do. I need to keep it stable because like I'm if I crawl into bed I'm not actually gonna go to sleep you know what I mean I know I know I should sleep but I don't want. can I at least finish this chat uh this quest chat please and then tomorrow I'll actually hop on early just get off stream and ERP instead great idea I will do that What's happening here? Can't yeah, find her. Get away from me! Found her. Is that a sin eater? Oh, it's a crab thingy. Can she fend for herself? Seems I have no choice. Hold on. What the fuck did she do? was sick. That was fucking sick. Kinda reminded me of like the Dark Knight magic, you know? What are you all gawping at? 
don't mean to stare, but it's not every day I see magic like that. So, this is the power of the fairy you spoke of? Ever since I was a child, it has whispered to me, telling me what to do. That's how I came to use its power. But there are things I can't even explain. Bulls ripped in thin air, terrifying creatures crawling out, ghastly looking blades and armor appearing out of nowhere. Worst of all is the dark energy that comes from inside. This power feels as though it's only flowing through me and never truly mine. And even when it answers my call, it always takes a few moments for the spells to work. So in summary, you don't have control over the magic. Well, it's not as if I tried to control it. I haven't made a habit of fighting wild beasts. Unfortunately, it's part and parcel of traveling through Amarang, and while I understand that you want answers, you're not going to find them unprepared as you are. But if your heart is set on this, then we'll help you. Green, think about what you're saying. You seriously consider taking Gaia to see Eden? There's no telling what might happen if she loses control again. So the safest option is for her to stay away until her work is done. Somewhere where we can keep an eye on her. You must realize it's for her own good. Oh, she did not like that. I must concur with Banker's assessment. At, for, at present, we know precious little of Gaia's origin, and less still of her powers. If she is indeed the Oracle of Darkness, her presence may com complicate a task already fraught with peril, placing our mission and her own well-being in jeopardy. In full knowledge of the risk, dost thou still wish to pursue this course? I like how their outfits complement each other. You know, they're similar, but they're not. You know, like the cold shoulder, the, the collar kind of uh, thing, the poofy sleeves, the hair is like kind of, it, it's cute. They're similar, but they're not, you know? It wasn't so long ago that I was living in isolation, being held against my will. Maybe the people keeping an eye on me thought that was for my own good too. But if we shut Gaia away from our from our own conven for our own convenience, we're no better than Vothri and Ranjit. I've learned that when someone is in need, we must reach out a helping hand, not push them away. Now it's my turn. Do for Gaia what you've all done for me. Even knowing the danger that lies ahead, I won't choose the easy way out. This is the path I've chosen. Is that good enough for you? Well, can't say fairer than that. How about you, Rianje? The light of thy spirit doth burn bright. My apologies, my dear, but we felt it necessary to test thy resolve. Let it suffice it to say thou hast left no room for doubt. For what it's worth, Rian, I never doubted you. But make no mistake, the danger that Rianje and I spoke of is all too real. If you're prepared to go through with this, we'll be right there beside you means a lot to me. Thank you. I couldn't care less who I travel with, but if we're going to go, then let's get going already. There's supposed to be some sort of crap waiting at the Southern Watchtower, yes? Come along then, and don't fall behind. She's got so much attitude. I hope she's like- I hope she carries into Endwalker or something. I mean, it's a side quest, so I don't know- I don't know how mandatory it is, but where are we going? Oh, back over there. I wonder what's going to happen to her. I want to learn more. I don't want to go to sleep, chat. They put Gaia's outfit on the Final Fantasy store. Ooh. Her outfit is on the store, but it's pretty bad. Why? One piece undiable and stocking. The stockings don't work well with dark skin. Are you serious? Oh, I thought it was gonna be like every pretty much every other outfit where it's like separate. That sucks. Nope, time for bed, but I didn't finish the quest. The quest isn't done. I literally still have to finish it. I have to speak with Thancred near the Derek. See, it ain't done. I still got time. Sleep is for the meat meat sheep? True. And I am a meat meat sheep, but right now, not so much. 
Why couldn't you leave this craft in more suit instead of all the way out here? <sighs> Actually, don't bother explaining. Whatever the reason is, I'm sure it's something frightfully uninteresting. Let's be about it, shall we? Might be a bit of a tight squeeze with five of us, but we'll manage. Perhaps Orion Jay can sit on top of our luggage? <laughs> don't fucking kill me. Don't kill me. I mean, I could sleep on the floor. Now I'm finishing the quest. Now it's done. So there it is. Alright. This is where I'll- oh. Let's see. Eden, I'll find the answers I seek. The bringer of the flood. The first- wait, wait, hold on. Why did the text like look like- oh, is this like whoever's inside of her? The fairy? The bringer of the flood. The first sin eater. Would it lead me to my past or my future? Or is that her like inner monologue? When I waited on the path ahead, I couldn't say. But I had no choice but to take the first step. Interesting. Oh, is that the end now? Yeah. Alright, chat. This is where I'm gonna end the stream. I am so glad that we dove into that side quest. That was very intriguing. And I honestly cannot wait to see where this goes. Tomorrow, we're gonna go back to the MSQ for a bit. I'll do maybe more of 5.1 and then return to this side quest until the game stops me, I guess? I don't know, I don't know how much, I don't know how much is ahead of this, so um, if anyone could give me kind of like a gameplay route for Shadowbringers, that'd be really helpful because I know there are some things that I have to do like before I finish Shadowbringers completely, and before I get deeper in. Um, how much of this do you want me to do on stream, by the way? Do you want me to do all of these? Because I can. I'm comfortable with doing most of these um, blue quests on stream. I just really struggle with um, reading. You'll have to be patient. All of Eden on stream is fun. Okay, I can do that. I mean, yeah, anything that's like a dungeon or trial or whatever, I would love to do on stream. Eden Raid is worth streaming? Okay. Bet. Because anything else, I could just do offline. I could just do it in my own time. All right, though. That's it for me. I'm going to be hopping off and going asleep. I do not want to. I'm gonna fight and I'm gonna kick. But it will happen. Alright, let's see. Who's live? Let's go raid Yuna. I haven't seen her on Twitch in a hot minute. She's been streaming for seven and a half hours, so you know what? Let's go give her some love. Wait, she's doing a streamathon? It's day 10? Good for her. Alright, friends. I will see you all tomorrow. Don't forget to join my Discord server and follow me on social media. That way you can stay up to date with all my shenanigans. I will be live at around 7 p.m. tomorrow, if not 6 p.m. See how I'm feeling. And, um, yeah, that's about it. Bye, chat! <laughs>